Yes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Bill King's Fantasy Football League is your man, Tony D. I got Fireman Rich in the building from the morning call for you on Twitch, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 0530 ish. Catch him when you can. We got Michael Bathurst in the house, one of the original live streamers I've ever live streamed the most with. Gentlemen, how are you doing? I am doing great, Tony. Am I allowed to talk now, Tony? Good morning, I'm just See, he's going to start off early. Okay, we're going to go ahead. No, no. <laughs> I'm being respectful. Tony, this verifies you're getting commercials. Are you or serious? No? Yeah, this is on you. You're getting commercials. Yeah. I got commercials. Yep. Yeah. I done came up. <laughs> I got yeah. commercials. From, from a deluxe apartment in the sky. In the sky we're, moving up. <laughs> we're moving on up. Yeah, this is on the road tour. Bathurst, your YouTube has popped up. Mine has popped up. My Twitch has popped up. My LinkedIn has popped up. Oh, uh, let me look at Facebook. How so. about Richard? Richard, does he have all of his links on there too? Yeah, yes. I got Twitch. I got Twitch and uh, I run Twitch and uh, uh, Twitter. So I'm checking those right now. I'm up on Twitch. Okay. I see Tony up there. I see Michael. You're in the sidebar there. Yeah. As far as on my broadcast, and I'm just bringing up some. Tony, that's Tony's broadcast right there. You can see us on the big screen in the back. Beautiful. Here. Um, I'm currently running YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. All three of us are live on Twitter right now, so this is a good thing. So yeah. if if you feel that, you know, I'm being misunderstood by not letting me have the controls, just put a yes. You will not control this. Right? Free Michael. Free you Michael. Always, let okay. let Michael be free. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're free. They don't trust me with the controls. What? What? We'll let the people tell you why. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, last week, once again, I have to apologize to everybody and admit I was not too attentive to everything due to what I had going on. Gentlemen, any recaps from last week that we should bring to the attention of any and everybody out there? Go. Go ahead, Michael. Beauty it, before it, it, ha it has to be. Before does it have to be football at the beginning? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't. Part, I can't. Yes, I can't mention someone. From friends, a beloved person from friends oh. that I watched all these years. Yeah, that's, that's and impressive. I shed a tear about it today. Yeah. While I was eating my breakfast sandwich, you know, on air. There you go, brother. There you go. Ask me again why you don't have control. <laughs> <laughs> I just honestly, I just if anybody is feeling it like I am today, and I'm being serious, it yeah. really affected me yeah, to that see was that a fifty year old. Night. 53-year-old yeah. male 54, is gone. 54. 54, sorry. Yeah. Rest in peace to Matthew Perry, honestly. And also, rest in peace to Richard Maul from Make Court. Remember that was didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that Tell me about was, that. He, he was died 80. Years ago. Yeah, he was 80. 80. Okay. Like, that that well, show is so classic. Mm -hmm. It was always classic. It was like, it was, it was, it was a, I think it was a staple in weekly sitcoms, in my opinion. I did like that show. Night Court was hilarious. I don't care who you were. It yeah. was intelligent. It was. It really yeah. was. It really was. So, so was Frazier. That there was a few that were witty. Well, you know, he made a come. He's got a comeback show on. He uh, does. He on did. Paramount. Uh, he he was going to let uh, Tony come up. Yeah. But he said, "Look, he can't eat on air." I think he has a son on it. His older son. His son is older now, or something like that. So. But yeah. Um. Um. Uh, Who's the individual from Friends? There, I. I Matthew Perry. Matthew oh, Matthew Perry. Perry. Uh, the latest yeah. I, I heard that, you know, they say he drowned, but I think uh, before he drowned, he was suffering a heart attack. Yes, that's okay. what I heard, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was in health. He was playing pickleball early that day. The week yeah. before, really good spirits. Soraya, you know, he's been sober and stuff like that. You know, he's got a story. I, I remember seeing, watch it, which trailer, I watched that whole uh interview that he had with diane sawyer a i mean that that was a good interview he was forthright with everything and stuff like that and it's it just sad and stuff 54 too young very young I, I, i've spent more time with him than i have spent with tony because my kids all they did was watch facebook you know yeah. and they used to what we we used to have i don't for those who are old you remember these things that were called vcrs oh yeah and you put a tape in it and they would press play and we would watch friends and then you would have to rewind it wind it yeah if you didn't rewind you it took it back to best buy they charged you they did <laughs> please be kind rewind rewind <laughs> remember that please yeah, be kind. Oh, yeah do not eat on air thank you we don't care <laughs> 
unbelievable. All, All right. right. From the games of last week, anybody? Oh, my God. Last week was amazing. Go for it. It was amazing. What do you want to talk about? Um, uh, we kept can I talk about what I'm upset about? Is that okay? If it's football, football. Yeah. If it's football, it's football. Right? you don't trust me. Look, both of them. They're ganging up on me. If you feel just... like they're ganging up on me, put hashtag ganging up on poor we, Michael. We love him here, Michael. All right. All right. You know, just the, the, the abuse. And I come back. I'm, I, I need therapy. I'll be okay. So here's the thing. There's this team. They're called the Buffalo Bills. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they show up. Sometimes they're really good. Mm -hmm. And they were okay. Mm -hmm. They were okay last week. And mm -hmm. then there's this quarterback, Baker something, Mayfield. I think that's his name. He mm -hmm. threw this 65-yard bullet into the end zone. And two people were holding the receivers. Mm -hmm. And the thing that happened is they said they were drowned by the light. They couldn't see the ball. Oh, is that what they because the, ball, oh, the ball was like this close. That's why we got they, instant replay. Yeah. But they were hold the guy that could see was being held by two people. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what you know what the the guy that was that lost focus? He was eating a breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. He was on the field. It's dangerous. It's really dangerous. The thing is, if you throw a free Mary, you know, the free for all into the old zone there. The, the old Mary. Well, I like to free Mary. If anybody wants to free Mary, please just put hashtag. See, again, lots of judgment here. You know, if if, if they free Mary, that means they let the players play the game. Mm -hmm. Hail Mary is it's it's a it's a very equal playing field. Gotcha. I just made that up on the run. Do you believe that? Okay. Yes, I do. Um, last week's numbers, courtesy of yeah. week seven. Yeah, I did, just uh, if it, this I is the numbers from last matches. week for week seven. We had Mike. Then it was Michael. Yeah, Michael. He gave me his pick, so he got mm -hmm. in the week. We don't have him in the total, but we, if he gives me his week picks, he comes up on the week board. Um, Tim Fan. He him for some reason the second half of last week's gains. I came. I rose to the top. Uh, and Tony, you, you had a dismal, dismal week last week, as far as that goes. I got a question. What's so funny? <laughs> no, no, I, I went because you were you were kicking ass in the first half. Well, oh. no, that was a week before, but I was just surprised that I'm still up there. Brian, he he maintained up there. Michael, you did really good as far as above 500. You beat out CBS, but Ted and Tony, the um, and then uh, for the overall, uh, let's see. There's the overall. I'm still at the top for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hawk. Hey, we are saying hello to you. We, we, oh, fuck. What's yeah. good? Oh, fuck. Hello. 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 Sorry. Listen, hello. some people, it's more important to eat the breakfast sandwich than to read the comments. And, oh, and you know what? My, you my, are my, now please, in take my it. world. Take it easy. Hashtag no eating on air. Oh, fuck. You got an invite to come up, man. You are the last year's reigning champion. You're supposed to be up here in the first place. Welcome aboard. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, Oh boy, these jokers. Okay, but th those are our um, those are um, an update after week seven, and oh I got Tim Fan Forty, uh, who's been missing in action here the last several days. He he he. Um, I think he got a new phone or something like that. So we we got all the picks in, and um, we'll be, we'll see what happens for today's games and stuff like what we're going to be talking about. You know, as a champion, I need to just spell raining better. <laughs> oh, is that? He's yeah, not I'm a on. gracious winner. Is that I'm what you're saying? His, no, I'm on his ass. He'd be picking all the time. Yeah. Um, well, okay, so it, enjoy games. your brief moment on in the sun. That's what you have to look at. Last right? week's so, games. What do we got, gentlemen? Um, I, I just got a couple comments on, on the games last night. Let me bring up my notes here. Um, last week, not last night. Last, last week. week uh, rare, like Buffalo last week compared to this. I, I'm not. I'm still not satisfied with what I saw Thursday because uh, by all Matt, uh, what. That should have been a win for the box. You know what? Let's be honest about that. I did catch some of that game. Yeah, the Bucks did pretty good. Yeah, they did. I was. Uh, so uh, they were it's not so much against the yeah. Bills. Buffalo it, showed their 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 uh, their own exactly. and stuff, but but it, it just wasn't. I mean, the Bucks were matching them, so that was one game. The Giants surprised me beating the uh, Washington Redskins, and then um, the other surprise one was Pittsburgh beating L.A. in L.A. You know. I think we wrote the Bucks off because they don't have Brady. And I think yeah. it's showing 
that they still got it. And remember, I said that in the beginning. The team is fine. They just got a different quarterback. I think they're still showing it. Because to hold yourself against the Bills, who I will say are still a Super Bowl contender, is enough to me. I got you, golf hawk. I'm going to just mess with you, though. I got you. <laughs> uh, I, I did catch a lot of that game. It was close at the end. It was very close. Um, You're not addressing what I said, though. You both dis- desist- you dismiss me. What? You want to take charge? No, 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 no. That, that, that is a given. That, that's a given. <laughs> Any day of the week. We you ask anybody. But, no, like, <laughs> you, the referees don't care mm-hmm. if it's if it's the last oh, play and it's a, yeah. they don't care at all. Then I suppose to Brian is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The original co-host of this broadcast. They need to change. Yeah, especially that. I didn't hear. I didn't hear about the. You know, I, I I didn't watch the end of the game and stuff like that. But I heard it was close. But hearing that, why didn't they go to the replay if it, there there was an issue? If it it's there right was two the, individuals thought, holding, yeah, holding, literally holding the dude. Yeah, yeah. the dude, the dude. Great song. Yeah. Here's Brian. the dude right here. The big Lebowski himself, <laughs> one of a kind to shock your mind. Put the wig, wig, wiggle, and you're behind. All the way from Texas. <laughs> oh, yeah. The man with the burger and the go, bacon go, and the cheese. Texas Rangers, right? Formerly known as Texas yeah. Brian. Now he's, I don't know, I have no idea what that is. All right. No, he's telling me to go for the Rangers, and I'm like, no. no he's Come on. I'm going I mean, for the Diamondbacks for the World Series. I'm taking the Diamondbacks. <laughs> I'm I mean, not I got, I, I got, I got to, I got to support Texas, though. Yeah, yeah, you do. All right, so that's so Brian. Three. Brian, you got to help me here. Yes, sir. Sh- should they call it when they're holding people? Yes. Mm. Like yeah. that's ridiculous. If it's blatant and it's obvious that it's hold, yeah. Aren't they supposed to review all penalties at the the last two minutes of the game? I thought all plays. Period. Yes, all yeah, plays. All, period. Yeah. So why didn't they go to the go to the tape? It's. No, I mean, it, well, I don't know. Unless they wanted the, they wanted, I mean, yeah, the, the the referees have been under a lot of scrutiny because, like, the whole uh, ever since that, well, the one playoff years ago when Seattle could have went to the Super Bowl and you know the refs botched on that call, and then recently when uh, the Saints could have went to the Super Bowl, but uh, the other team when the blatant like pass interference it was very blatant and the ref didn't call it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, every year they're going to be looking at that, though. But, um, but yeah, every the last two minutes, like every play gets looked at. It, yeah, right. that's what I thought. So when Michael they didn't said, look well, at that, come they, on, they used it. You know, the light was in my eyes. It's, no, that's when you definitely another ref should say, "Let's go to the tape." That's what it's there for. No, yeah. the the one individual missed it because the the light was in his eyes. The yeah. other guy that could have caught it, which was right behind him, was being held. Yeah, yeah. And the, and you know the one that had the light in his eyes was the one that had the breakfast sandwich in his mouth. He was the one that he didn't care. He just you moved know, on. Well, some things never change. I swear. There you go. So yeah. Brian, how are you today? You know, let nobody welcomes anybody in this show. How, I, I, how I, are you, Brian? Hey, okay, oh my just God. for a moment. Here, if you don't calm your Howard Stern self down, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the 13 <laughs> fucking minutes. Take a break. <laughs> I'm good. Just uh waking up, having my having my peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is good. Um, Brian, Thursday night's game, last week's games. Any input? Any uh, oh man, I was going for the Bills. You was? Yeah, I went for the Bills. I think I picked the Bills last week, didn't I, Rich? I think I picked the Bills. Uh, let me check. I got the I got the list up right here. Uh, the Bills, Michael picked Tampa, and um, Brian, I didn't get your picks, so I'm going to put you down. You need to give me your this, this week's picks, and it's still waiting for week six picks. So um, I thought you were on a piece of paper. Well, no, that, that, was, that was for week, week seven. But it was week I, seven, week eight. I uh, and, and one of the and one of the last streams, like I t- I typed it in for Ted, and okay. I thought Ted had sent you my my week yeah, six. Yeah, if, if, if you if you can just copy and paste that and put it in the the private chat there and stuff, I'll I'll have it there for today. Yeah. Tony, do you have headphones by any chance? I do, but Brian, how many? But uh, Tampa, Michael was the only one that went for Tampa. Uh, everybody else went for uh, Buffalo. Appreciate it. Brian, how many weeks we got to go through this? <laughs> How many weeks? How many weeks, dude? I don't know. 
I know. All last season. Still this season. This ugh. anyway. What what what's your beef, Tony? I pick on Brian for not submitting his picks because he says he's not in the matrix, but he does have an ass. No, he, he has YouTube. You can attach it to any one of my YouTubes, Thank Brian. You. That's what that does. That's I what that does. Last season. I'm yeah. not a morning person. <laughs> You go to work in the morning. What are you kidding me? I know I'm a zombie one. I'm a, like when I wake up, dude. It takes six alarms for me to get out of bed. <laughs> it takes me nine. Wow. I remember you, you guys realize it's eleven. Oh, you want to start with me? You want to yeah. start with me? It's eleven o'clock. It. How is this morning? Come on. Because, oh, it's before noon. It's before noon. I, I I was up at two the first time. Well, you're yeah, you're. Yeah, it's morning. Up until twelve o'clock. It's morning, o'clock, it's morning time. Got to work with folks. This is craziness. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Brian needs your picks. Get to work. All right, all right. I'm working on it. Brian, we're glad we're here. you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, last week's games, uh, drop your comments in the chat. I didn't catch a lot of them. Like I said, I've been busy for the past couple of weeks. You, um, you've been busy. We're, you've been more busy this last week than I have been for the last year. The past two weeks, definitely. Um, today's going to be another busy day, but I should, I should have some time to jump in on a couple of games. Are we going to talk about the Browns and the Colts? We're going to talk about them. We're going to get to all of them. We will. Okay. Okay. From from this, we're talking about, you know, the scores, right? Well, the scores get covered, but we got to go through the positions and the recommendations for each position for fantasy football players and those who are interested in updating their rosters or making decisions based on choices that they have. And we give our input on it. It's, I actually have fun doing it. I am grateful, and I will say this for the whole show. I'm grateful for everybody who comes in new every week asking mm-hmm. questions about those positions. That 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 is one of the things I did want to see, and I do thank everybody for doing so. Good morning, Helen. How you doing? Hey, Rich is that big humming? Oh, that big the bird hump. No, that's the that's the, he's just flapping his wings. He said the bird hump. That's an old blab owl. I wasn't on blab either. It took me a minute. I was trying to keep it to myself. Yeah. two years. And good morning, Helen. Mm, mm, mm. Brian. Cheers, Helen. Got my cup of tea. Brian. Brian I got my coffee. Be <clears> happy, <throat> Helen. Be happy. Brian, if you don't pick these damn games and get it over with. What? Oh. No, Jesus. Just, I can get them. Go ahead. Go continue. You don't have to wait. You know, just, uh, <laughs> shit. Are are we gonna talk about the Browns and the Colts? Mike, what are we gonna do with you? I'm gonna? just curious. Like it's this is people. called dead air here. They, you know, they need entertainment in between. No, this is entertainment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait till you see the replay. <laughs> no, this isn't karaoke where I beg you to not post it. Oh my god, that's entertainment. I got you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the roll while Brian is uh trying to figure out how the hell he's gonna do what he needs to do in the first damn place. I'm on his ass. Oh, I'm yeah. on his ass. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is season two of Belt Kings Fantasy Football League. This is week eight of the 2023 football season. We're going to go through each of the positions. We're going to start them off with the quarterbacks. Recommendations, suggestions uh, after the video clip. We're going to start starting. Jared Goff over the Raiders. I don't have an issue with this. Anymore. No, no, that's an automatic. It's a much better matchup since last season. Average 22 fantasy points per game compared to 12 on the row. He has scored at least. The Raiders also generate pressure. Um, I got no indifferences with this. Rich, you don't have any indifferences either? Oh, no, no. I think uh, this, I th- believe this is what – is this a Monday night game, I guess, that's coming up for Probably. these guys? And uh, uh, the Lions, are get, they're going to be roaring back after last week's loss. Last week, it's uh, just like – that was not the Lions. For this you year. know what's crazy, though, Rich? I got to admit something to you. I think the Raiders might pull this game off. They could. They very well could. I, I you know, they're they're at they're in L or they're in uh they're in Las Vegas. Vegas. So, well, you know what's crazy? Las Vegas is so iffy, and the the Lions. Something telling me the Raiders might pull this off. I yeah. mean, Garopp- and Garoppolo is back from injury. Really. Yeah, he's mm. back from injury. So um, they're gonna allow, they're gonna allow him to play. Yeah, he's oh, been cleared. You know he's gonna get on the field. Rich, did I send you my picks for the week? Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. I picked Detroit a lot. Don't don't underestimate Jared. I, I um, feel like you're not giving him respect. Like he had one bad game. Who? Yeah, Jared. Everybody did, did picked you? Detroit, and uh, nobody picked Las Vegas. Okay. 
We're going to stick yeah. with it too as a favorite. That's 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 a given. Everybody's going to take Detroit over Las Vegas. We know that. I understand that fully. Joe Burrow, let's see, start him against the 49ers. Now, this I don't know about. You have to. This I don't know about. Now, Joe Burrow's probably going to get in there because the season's been looking crazy. He got to go ahead and show his worth. But the 49ers are a problem. This is a potential Super Bowl matchup, in my opinion. The the, the 49ers, though, are showing that they're limping a bit right now because they're so injured, buddy. I've heard. I've heard. And that may be where they're getting the record. Their, their roster is not the same right now. It's not the same team. And don't forget, you know, their star quarterback is just coming off a concussion. Brock Purdy. Burrow has really only had one good game, one big game this season, but he's thrown multiple passing touchdowns in two straight. So oh, it might be a setup where he might have a blowout game against the. You this know, might be it. This is the biggest yeah, test. This could be it. Yeah, yeah. Person, the fifth highest rated in the NFL. But Burrow's coming off the bye, and the hope is he will be the healthiest he's been all season. I have to give them that. Yes, he should also have a healthy T. Higgins at his disposal again. The Bengals will likely need to put up points to keep up with the 49ers and could have to throw a bunch. I agree with that. San Fran is a tough matchup, but Burrow's healthy. You have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Absolutely. All, after all, we did just see Kirk Cuggins and the Vikings carve the Niners up through the air, and also we did see the Browns beat the 49ers. This is very true. I like this recommendation. I like where they're coming from with it. Gentlemen, your thoughts? Uh, T. Higgins is still injured. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's playing. Um, I, Joe Burrows is probably 60%, but he was 20% before. And he's coming off a of bye week, so that's that's rest time. I like he, that. He's not as good when his legs aren't good because he is a scrambler. He's a guy that can run. He is a scrambler. I agree with that 100%. And if he ha- loses that ability, it's a they're in trouble. And he is literally the nucleus of that team. If they mm-hmm. don't have him, it's, it's not the same. What what does everybody else think in the room? I, I, I can't I can't dispute anything that you said personally. I like the narrative. I like why they suggested it. I mm-hmm. like what they said. They even gave a little insight. Coming off a of bye week, and he should be at his healthiest. I think he's had recovery time from how the season started. Brian, so, what do you think? I know we've got you uh, multitasking here with your assignment, but uh, can you tell us uh, what you think about this situation here? I mean. It'll be a good, it'll be a fight, but I mean, I think San Francisco's on a decline, but I think like Cincinnati should pull it out. I mean, uh, just keep it simple. Don't do anything crazy, like out of desperation. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, keep the, keep the short routes, utilize your tight ends, um, utilize the screen pass and then, you know, run the ball as best as you can. Even though, like, the Niners does have a good run defense, but however, though, there's cracks in it. So, where there's a crack, you can break. So, who did you pick for that game, Brian? That, that's the one game you didn't pick. Oh, no. Okay, I see Bengals. Disregard. My, my bad. Gotcha. All right, y'all. I say take them. I ain't going to lie. If I had a roster and I probably would have drafted Joe Burrows in the original draft of the season, I'd have to start him. I'd have to because of the money he made and the numbers he'll get with the team that he has. I would have to, even though it's against the 49ers. That's no joke. That's no joke. Brock Purdy against the Bengals. So you see, now we got both quarterbacks going against each other. I am not going to dispute this. Go for yours. Roll the dice. <laughs> What's crazy is that there's some leagues out there that have two quarterbacks. I bet you somebody going to start both of them. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I'd say start them. Mm-hmm. Just like Burroughs, I, I'm I'm on, I'm on the the side of and thank you, Helen. Yeah, the the missus gave me a haircut yesterday. Gotcha, Mike. What you think about this? I won't lie. I wasn't listening. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I I just I just got a mm-hmm. message here from uh, my soon to be son in law here. So and it, it are? and it's talking about food. So oh, once no, once, once I heard about food, okay, the, the brain was un unable to function. Okay, so I, 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 I lost. But if you repeat the question, I will gladly answer it. <laughs> Double or triple bacon cheeseburgers, right? Um, broccoli. Um, that's broccoli. even better than the offer I got. It, they they're offering me a sub here, and as soon as I heard sub, I went sub, yeah, sub, sub. It's Where am I? It's official. I'm fighting old man blues up here. Um, would you start Brock Purdy over the Bengals? Well, what's the other choice? This is a recommendation. 
just like uh, Joe Burrow was a recommendation. They're recommending Brock Purdy. Oh, I, I mean, mean it, it, if I can have Brock Purdy, of course, because he he's well lubed. You know what I mean? Don't take that the wrong way. Okay, he's he's ready. He knows the system. We just lost everybody Tony. over the past season and a half that I've invited to be on the show, and you didn't show up. This is your damn fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is your damn fault. I don't want to hear shit from anybody. I said it. Oh God, CJ Stroud for the Texans. Start him against the Panthers. I've got no. Yes. Debate. Oh, I've got no debate. No Absolutely. debate. No, no debate whatsoever. I mean, Carolina. I mean, this might be the one game that Carolina might actually put up a really good fight that may come close, but still with yeah. CJ Stroud getting in the rhythm, all the guys on the offense are in rhythm. Texans. Honestly, CJ Stroud's probably going to be rookie of the year. Yeah, I mean, he's who, on, who he's else he's do you pace. think is in the running there, though? If he had if your next choice, year? yeah, so rookie of the year, um, Bijan Robinson. Yeah, me too. How about you, Brian? CJ. In the no, run. no, I mean second choice, bud. Sorry. Oh, second, second choice, mm -hmm. uh, rookie of the year. Um. Oh, uh, Zay Flowers from uh, Baltimore. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about him. Good. Good call. Good call. He, yeah, he, he. Ooh, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Nice. I'm going to call it, him the shredder because man, he's he's shredding everybody, every defensive back out there. I, I, I get he's bright. I've been with that, no. I get he's bright, but he's a little undersized. Yeah, but that's what they said about Tyreek Hill too, and Maurice Jones Drew. Yeah. Good call, Brian. Good call. Either okay. way, I'm a lot of y'all. CJ Stroud, star. Go ahead. Bro. Oh, oh, and uh, and uh. Damian Williams, when he was Kansas City, his rookie year, he exploded, and he's only like five foot eight. Yeah, but you remember at the beginning when they had the draft, there was this big controversy with C.J. Stroud that he had done this test and he did not do well, and he would not have the skills to be able to handle the pace of the NFL, and and that's what they had figured out from this test, and it was a bunch of BS. Because certain teams wanted him, and they knew if they caused controversy, you know, it's and and the guy that was supposed to last the whole year is now got shoulder surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bryce Young, golf hawk. Yes. Oh I no, 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 no. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, Richardson. Anthony Richardson. Yeah. Yes. Don't see you're jinxing him, Bryce. Bryce has got enough problems. What does he <sighs> weigh? Wait, like one one eighty five, maybe. So can oh, oh, yes, yes. I haven't talked to defensive players yet, so that's a good call. But I am speaking from offensive. Good choice. I mean, good, good uh, question. Um, Sorry, Tony. Keep going. No, you're fine. YouTube is freezing up big time. He's buffering. Okay. Everybody may need to refresh and check out Twitch. Heads up to everybody watching on YouTube. If it's an issue, it's not me. I'm actually getting that for somebody else. So thank you, Helen, for that. Um, whew, I don't see why you wouldn't start CJ Stroud. The Panthers are in yeah. shambles. And I've said that at the beginning of the season. The Panthers are definitely in shambles. CJ Stroud is on fire. I mean, I mean, the offense is now gelling. Yes. So the head Texans are looking at a good season. I don't see why you wouldn't. And if you need somebody to stream after that, they recommend the Kenny Pickett's of the Steelers over the Jaguars. I don't know about this. <sighs> and I, are you guys now listening to me? Are you guys now taking the Jaguars? I want, to, I want to get to it because you said CJ Stroud, the Texans were going to do good. I think Rich said it was having a good preseason as well. So they're coming up and they're here. Yeah, I, yeah. Be yeah, I was at training camp. I mean, Texans did look good. As I'm reading this narrative on Kenny Pickett. And I'm the only one picked in Pittsburgh. I, did you pick Pittsburgh? Let me see. What was I think I picked Jacksonville. Oh, you didn't pick Pittsburgh, uh, Brian. I thought you were a Pittsburgh guy. No. Yeah, but I've uh, like since the beginning of I the know, season. No, I, since the beginning of the season, I'm like yeah, Jaguars, man. Don't yeah. do not take the Jaguars lightly. Yeah, no, so, no. I so think Brian, they, why, why? They, I'm curious why. why last like, three weeks, Michael. You know that. No, but I'm curious why he. Why? He why so Jacksonville? Because yeah. like last last season, like towards the end of last season, Jacksonville Jacksonville has made a statement that they that they are here that you know they are here to be taken seriously because. They went up against a lot of the top tank, top ranked teams, and they put up a fight, and they and like the the teams barely won when everybody wrote off Jacksonville, and then as you can see, look at the record right now, five and two. And I said at the beginning, even like before the draft, when everybody's making their predictions on the Super Bowl, who does say Seattle and Jacksonville? 
I still stand by it. So it, it isn't solely because of the quarterback? The, the the team as a whole, the defense the, the defense is a stout is a very good defense. Um, yeah. even though Texans did have have their way with them. Uh so because CJ Stroud, like, you know, pretty much did, did his homework and everything, but uh but I guess the Steelers, Jacksonville's gonna really own they're gonna own the Steelers. Golf Hawk says the steel defense is gonna maul the Jazz. Yeah, oh, I, I agree. Right I we're totally gonna, agree. We're gonna hold you to that fire, bro. We're gonna hold no, you to I think that. he's right. I have no idea, so I'll let him run it. That's fine. And he calls it. We're going to see what happens. Uh, yep. so quarterbacks, they say, do not start. They say, do not start that Prescott with the Rams. I think Aaron Donald is going to get to him about two, three times this game. Well, think, da- but Dak has shown that he can run last week. Did you Dak see that? Run. Yes. Dak and he run. just came off one of the best games he's ever had. Good. What do you think, Fireman Rich? You're really quiet today. Coming, What's going no, I'm, just, I'm just looking at the picks and stuff like that while you talk about them. But uh, um, I'm thinking – I'm just surprised on the Jacksonville-Pittsburgh. I'm the one picking Pittsburgh, so that will be a good win for me. <laughs> um, um, Dallas, I don't know. Dak, I, th- he, I think he's still a premier quarterback as far as that goes. Um, as far as um, – what were the picks on this one? Um, they're, they're, I mean, also, too, they're coming off of a bye week, so they're well rested. Yeah, um, L.A., you got rest. Michael and Ted on L.A. and Tony. Me, um, I, I didn't plug yours in. I got the list at the bottom of the, the chart here. What did you pick uh, on that game? I think I probably took the Rams. No, I'm talking to Brian. Brian. Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys. No, you picked Dallas unless you want to change it, Tony. They, I don't I want to change it. No, I don't want to change no, it. No, I, and that's in Dallas, too. So, um, And the Rams – it depends on what Ram teams show up, but I, I wouldn't. I think Dak might have a good, uh, good game here because he's in front of the home crowd. It's got to suck being crowd, him, man. though, guys. It's got to suck. Like, how was when, the, the Rams secondary? Will be my question. Hmm. Good point. Yeah. Mediocre. If they're mediocre, Dallas has a significant chance to beat them. I'm worried about that Rams defense because they look like they're back to their old. Friend. Actually. Actually, I'm I'm kind of thinking about it. Like maybe I should start Jake Ferguson. <laughs> I wouldn't this game, no. I mean, they're the, the defense is weak on the tight ends. If it's weak on the tight ends, then you'll be correct. But something about that front defensive line, I think they're back. I don't know what everybody is seeing, but I think I caught, I caught one game and I was like, whoa, that looked like the Super Bowl team to me. Remember don't that underestimate the uh, the Rams. You know, they, I know. This they've season, got they've got great receivers. Yeah, they've got. I think one of the best quarterbacks. If if he had a little better tools around him, he would have more time. To my staff. Yeah, but yeah. it's it, he, they're considered a, a mid tier team. But the truth is, all they need is a few pieces. Like, and I mean one or two, and they could be in contention. They, I they, think they're and, there, right? Mike, honestly, I think they're there. I, and I, I'm going to be honest. What they did to get to the Super Bowl looks like they got everything back right now. Got they like one like flex from PPR leagues, Hollywood versus um, Hollywood versus Baltimore, Mixon versus St. Downs versus. So we got here. Rams get a W today. Golf Hawk. Yeah, right. golf is uh, saying Rams. So, okay, let's see. Got to pick one flex. Okay, this is Dylan Fink. Dylan, how you doing? Thank you for hey, being Dylan. here. Got to pick one full flex. Hollywood versus Baltimore. Mixon versus San Francisco. Downs versus. <sighs> Dylan, I think I would take Michael Thomas versus Indy. I think I would take Michael Thomas versus Indy with that. Hollywood versus Baltimore. Yeah. I like I like Hollywood. Something mm-hmm. Wasn't Baltimore's defense pretty good a few weeks ago? Oh, um, dude, they, they, no, no, no. They held they held the uh Detroit to nothing. So I would take I wouldn't take the Hollywood versus Baltimore record uh question. Mixon versus San Francisco. I'm going to tell you, Dylan, anybody going against San Francisco, I'm kind of hesitant against because San Francisco look like they're back. Because hmm. even though they got some of their injuries, they're still a decent team. Downs versus New Orleans. I would say Downs versus New Orleans. Gotcha. Hmm. Hunt versus Seattle. <clears throat> know about that but michael thomas versus indy is coming out to me i think i'll roll with that one let's see what we got here i was gonna roll mix in for safe volume but struggling with cooking digs not getting projections i like down saints bad versus the slot 
Michael Thomas maybe for a touchdown upside of Saints getting red zone. Others got a bad match. I'm with the Michael Thomas. I think he'll get to the red zone. I do think he will. Even though Indy looks like they feeling feeling good about themselves, I think Michael Thomas is still one of yeah. the best receivers in the NFL. But I think the down, downs though, he's a, he's getting the trust from Garner Minshew. Gotcha. Also, an uglier question. Got to start one running back full PPR. Rashawn Ford, Singletary, or Dan McCarthy. <laughs> Devin Singletary. Oh, is that is that uh that Sean? Wait, De- Democrat. He, he's the uh, Democrat came up up here a couple about a week or two ago. I remember seeing his name. I'm tempted to take Singletary over the rest. Yeah, same here. I'm yeah, taking. Devin all folks said it's start with Sean. So Dylan, there you go from one of the he's the he's the champion Sean. in the league last season. He say start with Sean. I will definitely tell you take his recommendation or everybody else because he did win. But something's telling me take Singletary. Thomas is lost in that offense. Carr won't be in the league. Carr probably doesn't have much longer in the league, but no. I think he can still. New Orleans offense is very similar to what the Raiders had. He should be doing a whole lot better. Definitely really, a whole lot better. I mean, plus, it, plus this is the first season, though. I mean, you can't get all yeah. the you can't, he just like, got there, and they don't have the coach they had originally either. So I'm not necessarily yeah. on him except for the fact they're not used to each other, but. Dylan, I appreciate the questions. I hope we help. Let us know how it goes. Dylan, thank you. I think you woke up, Brian. Next we time appreciate we come back that. up, you're thank welcome you. to be up here as well. Uh, where you. the hell was we? Okay, Dak over the Rams. Ladies and gentlemen, make your choice. I'm taking the Cowboys on that game. I don't know if I'm starting that. I'm taking the Cowboys. Geno Smith of the Seattle Seahawks. I don't know about this one. I think Geno's going to have a freaking kick-ass game. They're at home. Geno and- might have issues based on what Cleveland yeah. did for the 49ers. I will say it like that. Smith was a start yeah. last week against the Cardinals, and he flopped Well, he did throw. Multiple passing touchdowns for the second time. He finished with less than 14 fantasy points. He's now top 16 fantasy points just once in the 2023 campaign after averaging nearly 18 last season. This is true. Now he gets the Browns, who have yielded the fewest passing yards in the NFL this season. They have allowed an average of one passing touchdown per game while giving up the fifth fewest fantasy points per game to quarterbacks. I can't dispute this. He yeah. he had he has a tendency, though, if he has a down game, he has a good game the next. The thing is, they don't want him throwing as much. They want him kicking it off, and I can I can see that. I can see that. I think I, 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 I think he's one of those guys that could really be something in a year or two. He's just not fully developed yet. Mike, I ain't gonna lie to you. He kicked ass last year. He yeah. kicked major ass last season. He broke records, and he hasn't. The only thing he ever had broken was his reputation his rookie season. But he broke records last season. So I got a lot of eyes on him. Actually, I got a strong vision on him based on what he did last year and the fact that he was looking like he's the quarterback I thought he was in the first place. He's going up against the Browns who have given teams an issue. They're actually doing what a lot of us expected them to do with the roster that they have. And think about it. They beat the 49ers. Yeah. I was about to go back to that. Yeah. yeah. He, he's on pace, though, to have a really good year. Like, he's, he's, at, he's at 1,300 yards. He's not, he's not a slouch. No. Um, he's got four interceptions. Um, he's you know he's under a team that's really well coached. We mm-hmm. all know that. Um, we spoke on that in your show. We covered all that before. Yeah, that was that was. I think he's in a good position. I just don't know what he's going to do in this game. And he he's he's pretty darn good at uh, his accuracy too. So you know, yeah, I, I got no debate. Rich, your thoughts? No, I think. Uh, He's playing at home, Seattle. I always say that Seattle's one of those teams that are always tough at home, and uh, um, I'm rooting for him and stuff like that. Um, most of these uh, sit him quarterbacks, you're talking the, the top premier quarterback. So um, who are you going to get better unless you have, you know, a Mahomes or, uh, you know, uh, you know. I think Mahomes is a given. Yeah. I, I, or, you know, it's, you it's know. my understanding there's no buys this week. So no, no, it's it's just one of those things. I I, I don't, I guess I I just try to fathom this sit them when you got these, you know, sit Dak, who are you going to replace them with? I I have a question for the room. Do you think 33 is too old for a quarterback or is that just a sweet spot? Because he is physical capability, Michael. Well, I'm always on that because uh, I don't think it's necessarily the age. It's how the person, um, has taken care of himself, and I think a prime example is uh, Tom Brady. As far as uh, you know, yeah, but he's the it. he's the goat. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I would. 
Yeah, um, Joe, so Joe Montana, you look at him, he he was up there in age, and he was still playing good right till the end of his he – did, he didn't slough. Yeah. He went out on a high note. So, you know, it's it just – I think it depends. And, and the thing is, they got to be real fortunate on uh, what you're, al- you're always bringing up, and I agree with the injuries. The injuries can be devastating for a player in this league. So, so Gino is 33. That's why I brought it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, and is is maybe his legs not as fast as they once were? Is that maybe he's? No, I, I think he's. I he's think just that's a good chance to be the man. Yeah. And he's actually in a position he was yeah. drafted to be in. Yeah. This may be his time. I think Brian wanted to say something, but we uh, we caboosed over him there. Sorry, buddy. Well, I mean, I mean, like in the sports world, the moment you're the moment you turn thirty, you're considered old. Mm-hmm. But, however, though, you look at Favre, you look at Brady, you look at Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's he's still got he's still got a lot in the tank. Yeah, yeah. He's a not at, he's not as beat up as the other guys, but I don't think he's as beat up at all. Um, I think he's maximizing, and I don't blame him one bit. Mm-hmm. I truly don't. Uh, Sit Matthew Stafford against the Cowboys. I wish I would. I wish I would. Stafford is top 15 fantasy points just twice this season and has yet to reach 17 in any game. Now, this is true. I actually have him in one league. That's very true. Mm-hmm. It's just one game with multiple passing touchdowns and it's thrown for 231 yards a few and three straight. Until we see more upside, it's hard to start Stafford, especially in a week like this with no buys. I just brought that up. Plus, he gets the Cowboys who have allowed the sixth fewest fantasy points per game to Cowboys. I'm to the quarterbacks. That's true. That Cowboys defense is no Join the Cowboys defense if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. You will get yourself played out. Dallas has given up second fewest fit. passing yards this season as the Cowboys defense generates pressure at the highest rate of the NFL. Yet starts Stafford's top two receivers, but the quarterback himself can ride the pine. Um, they're speaking from a points perspective. A lot of us look at the game, but what you got to understand about fantasy football is about the points that you're going to make to win. Now he's he's projected to get 15, 16 points too. Which is not a lot. You want your quarterback to get at least 20. Okay, so he's you double digits, but you want them to be at least 20. Anybody under 20, you're gonna, they're going to tell you to sit. Now, your game's going to be fine, but their points come from passing, sometimes running and rushing. So and he's, aver- he's averaging about 200, a little over 225 a game. Right, and they just yeah. said up here he's getting less than – he's thrown for 231 yards or fewer in three straight, which means he's doing – 230, which is good, but you also got to add in. Yeah, last week was the one, yeah. It takes six points. He's, all, he's also got seven touchdowns, and we got to remember that he almost retired. He was he was close to retiring. Well, he's been in the game 15 years now. Yeah. When he was in college, and he was a beast in college. I like Matthew Stafford as a quarterback. He was a beast in Georgia. Right. He really was. So he's done a lot of time. He was on the Lions. He held them down for a while, even though they didn't get nowhere. So when he got the Super Bowl, I think he was going to retire and Aaron Donald was going to retire. Because they finally yeah. made it like they done. They done. He's good. And I get it. But I'm glad he's still in the game. I would honestly tell everybody up in here, I think I changed my mind. I might have to sit him based on who he's up against. Dallas defense is no joke. They really aren't. And Stafford probably won't get there primary or premier fantasy football numbers in a game like this. I have to agree with this. Um, Jordan Love, they say sit him against the Vikings. I'm going to let y'all have this one. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Jordan Love, he's still trying to figure things out. Yeah, he's another one, 60, projected 16 points. Like uh, um, he's He's been a semi-disappointment this year. Yeah. They were hoping that he would be the person to step into Aaron Rodgers' shoes and be able to do it. But scoring in general, guys, is down. It's really down. He started off real good. And I'll well, since. Golf Hawk, Golf Hawk is uh he's starting Jordan Love. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, okay. Let me see what we got here. I didn't see something like Love be one of his quarterbacks exactly. And now he's averaging just 12.6 stone for fuel and 200 yards last five. We'll put a big number. So we have Oh, there's six inches of snow in Denver. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. God. I love games God. like that. <laughs> as far as points, here. From a points perspective, it's just a draw. I can't debate it. I can't. I really can't. I can't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those are your quarterback recommendations for week eight of the 2023 season and across the NFL.com. Who do we have next? We will go to. We're out of running back specifically because I'm looking for that. 
Tony, it, it, it amazes me how close the stats are between many of the quarterbacks. Mm. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's yeah. very, very close. Like, there we go. Running backs, good. Um, you're right, Mike. And I was actually talking about this last year. It looks like the talent is spread out across the whole league. So everything is oh, even. There that, is no monster favorite except for teams. But I think that's why you're seeing any team can win if the planets align that week. And then we've seen that. Like, Yes. How how did the Cardinals beat the Cowboys? Like, come on. Defense. Right. No, but I'm saying that is something if you knew in a crystal ball and you could have bet your life savings, you'd be you'd be very you'd be very wealthy today. I tend to agree. Tend Where are we at, Tony? What are we looking at? Starting what are running we backs, starting running backs? We oh, running backs, okay. 2023 season course NFL.com, starting Brees Hall of the New York Jets against the Giants. I got no debate. I actually have a high interest in this game as a native New Yorker. And I will say, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. When's the last time the Jets were favored to beat the Giants? This has been a minute. I am pretty excited about this game. It's, I have it's the, not a it's not a large uh, uh it's like three points though. That's fine. I'll take it. The yeah. Jets are normally favored below the Giants. The Giants are normally Brian, favored. what do you think? Brian's not saying anything. I'm worried. Uh, uh, Jets got it. I mean, New York Giants. I mean, they're they're eh, at best, but uh, Jets. I mean, Brees Hall's gonna run it. The offense is good. I mean, because what Zach Wilson is he is he slightly getting better? Is he still kind of like Zach seems to be having ups and downs? I'll say it like that on purpose because he'll have his moments, but people are expecting him to mess up. This is the game everybody gangs up on me because everybody's taking the Jets. I'm staying with the Giants. This is going to be a great yes. game for the Giants, a great win for the Giants. They're going to be kicking butt, and uh, I could be wrong, though, too. Yeah. Dolph Walker, I just want to debate you on this. You say offensively there isn't a team outside of the Dolphins that is clicking. I want to say the Chiefs are clicking. I want to say the Chiefs are clicking. I also want the, to the, the, the Chiefs are doing great this year, considering oh. years past. They never depended on the defense before. Well, everybody knows what their offense is going to do. The defense had to step up as far as how the team goes. Um, offensively, Ted. Looking, <clears throat> I want to say golf off. I'm really sticking with the um, Chiefs clicking just as hard as the Dolphins on a consistent basis. The Jets offense seems to be clicking because they were very crunk. That just seemed good under Zach Wilson a couple of times. Indy was looking good for a minute. The Rams seem to be getting back to their old form. And I can't say much more after that, honestly, right now. Right now. Did, did you send Ted a, an invite? Everybody's got invites. The whole league has an invite. Trust me. Ted, Ted, you going to come up? Ted might be busy, Mike. Yeah, he might be busy. He might be mobile. Because he's going to get ribeyes, seasoned, and thrown on the flat top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Pacheco of the Kansas City Chiefs, they recommended starting him over the Broncos. I have no debate on this. No, no, no debate. No debate. No. Rich, no, no. Uh oh, uh oh. Kansas City is. It's, it's gonna. I, I'm. I'm Hawk just. is right. Sure. By the way, you should read that comment. That's a very yeah. good comment. The that's so, by the I understand what, the but, uh, what understand golf what was saying about, about the snow. I'm just. That's gonna be a very interesting game to watch. Gotcha. Oh <clears> fuck! <throat> I'm just saying with the points, but I'm just watching how they're playing. Look they the do seem to still be. But Tony, right now, a lot of the teams are down in scoring. Huge amount. Whoa. Are they moving the ball? Um, I just got a hit from uh, Bleacher Report on the NFL Go. injuries. Go. Pat, Pat Mahomes has an illness. The Chiefs quarterback expected to play despite being added to the injury report. Ooh. Maybe he's got COVID. Oh, for God's sakes. Or it's the snow. It's flu season, Mike. It's flu season. It's flu season. That, 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 there, there we go. The snow becomes So you're factor. saying there's no COVID, Tony? Is that what you're saying? You can have the flu and not have COVID. You can have pneumonia and not have COVID. You can have bronchitis and not have COVID. You can have a cold and not have COVID. COVID had us three years ago. I'm not letting it win right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not Listen, right now. you can have a breakfast sandwich and still do a, a show. Like I agree. <laughs> this is but. what I do. Uh, Damian Pierce of the Houston Texans against the Carolina Panthers. I have no debate against this. Oh, one. no, 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 no. Mike? Yes. All righty. <laughs> How Rashad. are you, Tony? You feeling good? good? Yeah, feeling? I'm good. Are you, is everybody having fun in the comments? <laughs> we're we're so happy you're here. 
Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Bills. I do. Well, this was Thursday night game. Yeah, did he do, so, what yeah. did he do for numbers on that game? Did he? Uh, I don't know. If one of you could pull it up, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Okay, Rashad White. Let me see. Damn Bathurst boy. <laughs> I'm just I'm just keeping you guys on your toes. That damn I think I think Brian would be asleep. So I'm yeah, 39 year, 39 yards rushing, uh seven receptions. Uh he got 10, 11 points fantasy football for week eight. If you got so that's digits, about you. middle of the road, I guess. Yeah, he did double right. digits. Can't get mad at him for that. He did double That's digits. pretty average though, Tony. That's not exceptional. No, it's average. You want that yeah. at least. If you want a deeper if you option, want at least that. If not, you know, hopefully better. If you want a deeper option, Jalen Warren of the Steelers against the Jaguars. Listen, Jalen Warren, I've actually talked about this before. Mike, I think we talked about this Jalen Warren is a decent sleeper running back for your roster, ladies and gentlemen. He is. But what about the Jacksonville defense we're talking about, though, too? Can he, he – can he, I uh, think he'll punch run through them. I can think he punch a hole? He will run through them for real. Send in a smokers in the house. Bro, it was good. Hey, the smoke. Well, I got to drop it. <laughs> I'm going to do it for smoke. I'm going to do it for smoke. I'm going to do it for you, smoke. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, my God. Y'all jokers. <laughs> there it is. I dropped it. The link's in the chat. <laughs> oh, no. We bringing him up? If you can get up here, yeah. All right. You know, said that. All Let's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to get crazy. We're we'll trying to make it. Jalen Warren is a Deeper option running back against the Jaguars. I like this, and I'll tell you, Jalen Warren can run through a defense. He just doesn't get the ball enough. So I'm glad they actually recommended him this week. Here's another one. He his, says the his, link his, doesn't his, work. His uh, Instagram link didn't work. Ah, I got you. That's what we need to know. Cool. But it's in the chat. If you're on my YouTube or my Twitch, you'll see it. If you're coming in from anybody else's, you won't. But it should be on my YouTube or my Twitch, honestly. It, it, it's actually on just your. I, oh, I'll be quiet. Check my YouTube. No, check my YouTube. See if it's over there for real. It yeah, it's be. on the YouTube. I'm seeing it now. You see it on my Twitch? Yeah, but uh, I don't know. See why Smoke can't get it. He commented <clears> on <throat> uh, YouTube. So just click it on the YouTube there. He actually, he's on YouTube. Yeah. It might be acting up. IG may not work on his phone. I mean, restream may not work on your phone. Yeah, but he, he made the comment on YouTube, so he should be watching this on YouTube. If he's out and about, it may not work on his phone. Oh, if gotcha. Gotcha. If you're at home, you're good on your laptop, so you can gotcha. gotcha. on your gotcha. phone, gotcha. restream. Yeah, the mobile, mobile. Restream, yes. worked on my, restream may not work there. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, start Jalen Warren. I will say that, honestly. Sit him. Sit Najee Harris against the Jaguars. I have a personal that's problem with this personally because I like Najee Harris as a running back. No. I refuse to sit him, whether it cost me for the weekend. Yeah, you said that last week, Tony. Yeah, he's he's yeah. not been consistent, buddy. They don't give him the ball enough, and he doesn't run it enough. He'll block. I think he's a back, backfield blocking running or back. Or just have him out receiving, like a receiving back. Mm-hmm. I, they, they don't give him the ball enough. I, I hate to say it, they don't give him the ball enough. Najee Harris should be Derrick Henry. Period. He should be similar to what Derrick Henry does. But he ain't. But he ain't. And they ain't, they, I don't know what the hell's going on. I hate it. They say sit him, you go for it. My hard-headed ass will not. Can't. That's, that's loyalty. I got to. Brian Robinson to watch the commanders over the Eagles. Sit him. Um... This one I don't know about based on the game you just had previously where they almost went to overtime. I think they did go to overtime. Um, I, I would st I would start Ro I would start Robinson because I mean like that it's gonna be a fight, but don't don't take the. I mean, let me look it up here. Let me see what the go ahead. And, and I say that because like I said, the Commanders and the Eagles had a tight game a couple of weeks ago, very tight game. I don't know if I would sit any of the Commanders against the Eagles, and the Eagles are six and one now. They're all six and one. Hey, Captain Rehab. Yes, yeah, sit his ass. He's gonna get. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let I mean, me... I mean, because they... okay. I was gonna okay, put your so... in rehab, but there you go with that shit. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't so... be sharing those, buddy. So back at so back in week four, back in week four, when Washington was at Philly, Sam Howell completed. Uh, he was twenty nine for for forty one, mm -hmm. se seventy point seven percent. 290 yards, a touchdown, six carries, uh, six carries for 40 yards, and uh, Sam Howell got like a 19.6 points on on uh, 
Philadelphia. So, I mean, they put up a fight. I'm trying to see what other players I have. I'm on your ass, Golf Hawk. I saw that. Rehab, I'm going to get you two. <laughs> the other stats. Uh, week four, Terry McLaurin. Um, he had eight re- week four against Philly. Had eight receptions, 86 yards, 2.8 average. You muffle, Brian. You muffle. You missed it. Yeah, you're really muffling. Oh, man. No, um, Washington had a good day against them um, yeah. on week four. So I mean, they're gonna put the fight. Oh, I wouldn't, so, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut out Brian Robinson. No, gotcha. But well, he when when he's explosive, right? Like he's the kind of guy that can go for twenty five and more. Mm-hmm. He's got the wheels, and you got to be careful too, because if you all you watch is highlight reels, mm-hmm. you assume that these people can do this all the time. Mm-hmm. You d- you don't realize it took you know eighty five carries to get that one break. Gotcha. And it's like you said earlier. There's a lot of backs in the league that don't get enough touches that they can showcase with the week. You know, because yeah, all they need is a seam, and they're gone. Exactly. That's what Brees Hall did twice this season. That makes everybody pay attention to him. So I got I, I, I go for yours on that one. I can't lie. Miles Sanders of the Carolina Panthers against the Texans. They say sit him. Um, Brian, Texas bad. defense. You think they're right with this? They are right because I mean the run defense is solid. Yeah, yeah. The they're, they're Houston's t- they 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 come. They've got a solid defense now. I, I think as far as uh, they changed it around and uh, and we, we look at some of the wins and stuff like that that have happened over the last several weeks. It's it's down to their defense and I think uh, Texans is an example. If it wasn't for their defense, they wouldn't be winning games. So. Uh, um, I can't lie. Miles Sanders has been in the lead for a minute. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'll be on the fence with this one. Something tells me to start. Yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, I mean, because I mean, like, um, so looking at the t- <clears throat> the Texans defense, they only had like two really bad games and one so so bad game. But the other than that, like against Baltimore, that they had double digits in the Baltimore, Jacksonville, they had double digits, Pittsburgh, they had double digits. Rehab, I'm not going to lie. Miles Sanders, I don't think, was getting the bar, ball enough. When he was up there, I think Barnwell was there, and I forgot who else. But he was like second to third string. I think he just lost out against his competition. But I think with Carolina, he could be a prime running back, and he isn't getting the ball enough. Uh, Golf Walker, I see what you're saying. Philly is due for an L. Trail Lightly, boys. Absolutely. Steelers, too, without the D. They be well with under, under 500. I kind of agree. However, I don't think Philly's going to lose entirely. They got close with the um, commanders. And they got a lot of injuries or a lot, a lot of players who weren't there primarily. Oh, Raheem Mostert is active. Zach Moss is active. Darren Waller is active. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy will start. Trent Williams is questionable. Tyler Lockett is questionable. Jerome Ford is questionable. I'm watching uh, ESPN on the side trying to get anything I'm missing. But, Tony, the yes, Philly, sir. we've only seen a 60% Philly. We've not seen. Exactly. We've not seen them on fire. I've heard that. It's, it's not. It's not like Miami. We saw Miami at ninety percent, right? We've never right. seen this year. I don't think we've seen even the Chiefs at ninety percent this year. I'm. I'm sorry. I. I think we're seeing a lot of these top tier teams playing at sixty percent, and a lot of times it is enough to win. Is that is that due to injuries? You think, Michael? Yes. I think a lot. I think a lot of. People who have made it to the end know that it's a long race uh-huh. and, yep. and yep. you can't fire on all cylinders or you can yep. end up on the bench injured yes. maybe for a year or two. It's a business. People forget that. You, you, you've got you've got individuals here that are not going to put their bodies on line when they have all these incentives to make millions of dollars. If they do well enough, it's not like the old days. I'm sorry. The oh, old days, yeah, guys yeah. played with concussions, right. fingers yep. broken. You're right. Now it's everything's. They've got accountants. They 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 live large. Well, you know what's crazy? I, I I can't even debate what you're saying. And a lot of them save themselves for the postseason based on how hard they went during the regular season and cost themselves a postseason. I do agree with that. And we've seen a history of that over the past 10, 15 years. 
We have I, some... I like this Aaron Rodgers comment here. I think this is good. <laughs> it's like, that's yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's Ryan. What do you think of that comment? That's our man, Captain Rehab. Have okay, you ever had it. lint in your button? Uh, no, there, y'all uh, won't. No, I don't y'all know. Won't, oh, y'all boy. Take something else. Yeah. Rehab is in the house. He is also a league member. Rehab, you should have been brought your ass on camera. I ain't seen you since week one, week two of the original season. You're my best. Anyway. He reminds me of the pulsating rose. He doesn't show up in. Yeah, anyway, Imari. Oh, yeah. Now, this oh, yeah. was brought up to us about uh, 15 to minutes ago. Dan Mercado versus the Ravens. This was a question. Let's see what we got. Carlos Backfield has been insanely frustrating over the last few weeks. First, James Conner gets hurt. Dan Mercado steps up, sees all the work. Then, after everyone pays up for Dan Mercado on the waiver wire, he takes a backseat to Keontae Ingram in week six who then didn't play a single snap in Week 7. Instead, Dan McCarter played 78% of the snaps with 13 carries and 5 targets, good for 75 yards, 11.5 fantasy points. He's a back and one on my roster, but until we have a reason to trust this backfield, I will leave him on the bench. Perhaps we'll get clarity later in the week, but the Cards could also be playing catch-up against the Ravens very quickly, and the fantasy upside has not been high enough to warrant rolling the dice on Dan McCarter. That answers the question we had earlier from Dylan. Yeah, his, his yeah. numbers totally uh, so far this season are subpar. Gotcha. That's all it is to it. I'm not going there with the Paul St. Rose comments. Y'all jokers are playing on top of it, damn it. I would not start Dan McCarno. There you go. Uh, Ravens defense was also given a lot of praise recently, so definitely keep your eyes on that. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your running back recommendations for Week 8 season, 2023 season of course, NFL.com. Y'all motherfuckers. Let's go to the wide receivers. Yay! The wide wide receivers. Why you celebrate? Receiver. What the guy's give name? Give me Ladies and gentlemen, give me a second. Pause. Hit it me! <laughs> <laughs> with a wide receiver. Right. Start him. Terry McLaurin of the Commanders versus the Eagles. I want to say he may not see double digit fantasy points against the Eagles. Uh, but you uh, all me. Go for it. Go. At week four at Philly, yes. eight receptions, 86 yards, 10.8 average, no touchdowns, 10 targets, and he uh, finished off 22.6 points. Thank you very much. Keep going. Let me keep going. Okay, that's it. Cool. Rich, what you got? Well, I was just going to say, see what this guy's projected is because, like Brian said, he had a good week last week. So No, no, no. That, that was week four at Philly. Oh, week four against Philly. So if he gets the same amount of uh, – we're, we're talking about will he get the ball the same amount of time that he did that last game. At the, okay. They're at home this time. so Yeah, they're at home. So we might, we might see uh, – I'd say start him. If he's got the good stats and stuff like that, his projection, um, yeah, it's only 8.8, though, Brian. But uh, he did have a bang up, uh, let's see, last week. He did have a bang up last week there with 29 points. The two, the rest of the season has been, well, that's the experts and stuff like that. So he he's like, he's averaging below 10. I, but then again, you know, it depends. Depends on the Tucker. So, I mean, but if he had to start him, I, I'd say, and he's one of their premier. Uh, let's see. We'll, and then, we'll and then, and then on top of that, Sam Howell, the quarterback, at Week Four at Philly. At Philly, I mean, think about it. They only lost by a field goal. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam Howell accomplished to get 290 yards, one touchdown. He rushed for 40 yards. Right. So I would, not, I would not. You wouldn't start him then? No, I would start him. I, oh, I would start him. Okay. Yeah, okay. in, yeah. my, in, my, yeah. in my ESPN leagues, I have McLaurin starting. Right. Okay. Tony, um, there's a couple of individuals that are watching this on Twitter. Yes. One of them is Tim Brown, and he's enjoying it. And he said uh, it's it's been fun. So thank you. We appreciate that. Brown, I and I, I left the other person's uh, name in the private chat there who is. I responded to it. Tim Brown. Thank you. I know him. He is the uh, professional speaking coach. Yeah, he's on, normally up there with Bobby. On on, on Saturdays, he, he – yeah, he might be. Uh, yeah, I think he, he's up there with Bobby. I met him, him last year. Him and so Donika are friends, but yeah. Donika, yeah. To tell him I said what's up. I remember him. Tell him I said thank you, please. She prefers Donika. Donica, you're right. Yeah, and well, and it's like Captain Rehab, performerly known as Captain Rehab, now just known as the Pulsating Rose. No, I'm not doing it. Zay Flowers oh, against the Cardinals. I have no question against Zay Flowers, Brian. Stop seeing it. Go for it, Brian. 
Zay Flowers to Shredder. Oh, yeah. Flowers has hit up double figures in oh, all the games. Oh, definitely start yes. He has also topped 17 point fantasy points twice, showing he brings both a safe floor and a solid upside. The rookie has thrived against zone coverage while struggling mightily against man. Well, man to man coverage, for those that don't know. Well, this week he gets the Cardinals, who <clears throat> who run zone more on 80% of their plays. The league average is 72%. So far this season, 88% of Flowers' yards and his lone touchdown have come against the zone. This week, will f- um, this is a week to force Zavin Kavon Flowers into your lineup. Yeah, do it. Wait do a it. minute. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, pause for the calls. We got Randy Orton in the house. Randy. We got a raid going. Randy. There's a raid. 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 Whoa. Raid. Alert. Randy Orton. Randy is in the house. Randy. Live from the Middle East. We got yes. It. He's a beast, Randy W. Harden. The Sweet beast in the Middle East. Oh. C-54. I remember Sharon. How you doing? The lady? man that loves to feed camels on Sundays. Good That's Lord. right. <laughs> Did who play for the Raiders, Ted? I missed that question. My apologies. I was looking something up. We got driveway cam in the house. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's in here. Everybody's in here. Randy with the Up in remote. here. Up in here. I'm about to lose my mind. Thank you all for coming through each and every last one of you, honestly. We Randy, appreciate you. And, Thank and you. Randy, Randy, grow the beard back. I'm <laughs> Thank you for being here. Grow the beard back. We are all good. We are all good. We are all good. Thank you all for popping in. Um, I got nothing against Zay Flowers. Star. No, no. Uh, he's got eyes in the back of his head. He's, he's exactly. Yeah, like, Nico <laughs> Collins of the Texans against the Carolina Panthers. Brian, this is your man again. Go for you it. Got, you got to use you gotta use shampoo and conditioner, Randy. Shampoo and conditioner on the beard. Oh, for God's sakes, y'all joke. That's how you get it all nice and fluffy like this. I think the beard. I think the beard is um, gray now. That's the thing. Tim Brown. Ted, you're funny. That's hilarious. Okay, I got you now. Uh, Nico Collins, yes. Ah, yes. The oh, Texans. that's a definite. Yeah, against the Panthers. Yeah, definitely, definitely because their Texans are coming off of the bye week, and uh, Stroud and Collins are having a nice little uh, bromance going. Yeah. Captain okay. Rehab, uh, Ooh, I totally okay. disagree with your comment there. I <laughs> think he here. has been phenomenal. Yes, he has. He has been. It's, so uh, can you only afford single ply? Is that the yeah. I think he's more of a two ply guy. Oh no. I think he's triple ply. That's triple, triple ply. There we go. <laughs> he's, he's got he's got the royal butt. Exactly. Drake London of the Falcons against the Titans. I've got no debate against this. No. No. Well, well, it's gonna be an interesting fight, but I think it'll be a low scoring game. Yeah. It'll be a low-scoring game, considering like both their records. But it'll be a very defensive matchup. London is very much in play against what's left of the tank secondary. What's left of their secondary? That is terrifyingly. Brian, what, why does that make you think it's going to be a defensive game? Well, because like defensively, uh, Atlanta has a pretty good, has a pretty decent uh, defense. Along with the Titans, they have a decent defense. Both their records speak for itself. Um, I think. The only th- the only way that Atlanta will pull it off, but with like the last two games, is by field goal. Like Atlanta is is heavily relying on the on the special teams to win. Gliss seven hundred, uh, Gliss seven hundred. Thank you for coming through. Dang, baby wipes. Yeah, Whoa. Yes. So how Whoa. you you have to explain that with more uh, sensitivity? There you go. We don't have to. Um, got the got the dude wipes. No, we're going to take it easy over there. We're going to take it easy. Rashi Rice of the Chiefs at the Broncos. I don't know about starting him. I've actually been hearing his name a lot. I just don't know about starting him yet. Oh, think, you have to. He's, he's one he's of the key pieces. Here. What are you talking yeah, exactly. about? Well, Michael, you're go, smoking go. weed, man. I'm not smoking he, weed. He did pretty good last week. He, I'm reading, no, I'm reading but the him now. I'm reading the The, the problem is everybody gets about uh, production of about 40 yards, but there's seven of them. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing, and they're saying he's continuing. He's continuing to see an uptick in usage, and it's yeah. starting to pull away his number one receiver back to Charles and Chiefs. So he's coming this, up. This guy is. Last week he was awesome as far as the target stuff. Go so, for it. Yeah, I, like I, I said, say, I haven't seen the games. I haven't seen. Guy, I mean, the wide receivers. Do you feel attacked right now, Tony? In, in any no, way, we're, we're sorry about that. Commentary. You know, uh, the game is going over. 
Rice is a star. Uh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Ryan, why are you not saying anything about Rice? Speak up. We're giving him a chance. Go I ahead. Mean, <clears throat> I mean, because being that it's a snow and everything and Mahomes is not feeling well, they're going to run it. So COVID uh, oh, or oh, flu, which one has oh, he yeah. got? Which one has he got, brother? In the comments, uh, COVID or flu, which one? And don't listen to Tony. There you go. Mm, they, I, it, it, I, di on. I diagnose as the, the illness of snowy mile high. If you need a deeper option, Michael Thomas of the Saints over the, over the Colts, we talked about that earlier. I did recommend that earlier. No, I have good, no. Good point. I love Captain Rehab. Is good there point. A difference? Yes. Is there a difference? Well, that will be the next show. It is a three one with Tony. One D. is marketed, the other one's not. <laughs> I can't with y'all sometimes. I can't. Uh, take Michael Thomas. I said it earlier. They're actually recommending it. Glad to know I'm at least still. Well, who's going to be it. tossing the ball for the Saints, though? That's my question. You know, they as got, far as the, they got they, David and they also got Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. Yeah, play. but I, I don't think it's going to be in. Yeah, oh, I just, listen, I don't know. unless he's I unless he's in a wheelchair, he, he he will be out there. Agreed. Come on, you know that. <laughs> Agreed. Sit him. T. Higgins of the Bengals against the 49ers. No. We just talked about this earlier. This is one of those calls that Somebody's dog play. is going He's, nuts. Is that outside? Higgins has enjoyed one big game this season, scoring fewer than five fantasy points in every other out and coming up to buy. The hope is that he and Joe Burrow are both healthy and ready to return to the regular season. Exactly. Matchup against the 49ers will be the toughest test yet. I did say that earlier. The Niners got a ton of pressure on the quarterback and have been tough on receivers this season. They also run zone coverage, the 10th most in the NFL, and Higgins has struggled against zone this season. That is key. Higgins has struggled against the zone. Y'all might want to remember that. Just but, one yard but, per but San Fran right now is not San Fran. They He's are so not playing like the that. team. There is, it's, it reminds me right now of Buffalo Itis, which is my favorite team. You don't know. Dragging on which, Buffalo, Michael. Which which team you're gonna get? You don't. You don't. And but the only way it. they win is by cheating at the end of the game. And this is my favorite team. You know what? That's what Kansas City's been doing. I'll go ahead and say it. Time to start the controversy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> They've been, they been getting over right at the end of these games. Well, have you seen over. all the holding that they show after? It's terrible. Dude, dude. dude. Uh Higgins has struggled against his own this season, just one yard per route run with a 37.7 passer rating when targeted and 41% catch rate. I keep advocating to buy low on Higgins, but given a matchup, I'm fine taking a wait-and-see approach this week, especially considering there are no buys. Yeah, I think with them coming off a of bye week, you kind of want to take a chance on them. I got that. I got that. Like you said, the 49ers ain't all the way there, and the Bengals are probably going to go. They got to start going for it to get back in playoff contention alone. Right. So, Tony, yeah. I, I have a question here, and I know Ooh. it's not pertaining to uh, football, but I'm just curious because in the comments, this is paired. What does that mean when they do that? Paired means one of you all who connected your channel to this broadcast, they're coming in from that channel, not yeah. mine. It, it's a raid. Remember when you had a raid from uh... – No, not necessarily a raid, Rich. Not necessarily a raid, but if he came in on one of your channels and not mine, that's when it's paired. Yeah, but that was obviously a raid. That was obviously a raid, but paired yeah. means like yeah. all I've got all my networks up. He oh, may have, oh okay. He okay. may have come up on Bathurst Network. Okay. That's so here, here's the thing. I'm learning. And I'm very new to Twitch. I've, 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 I I I Twitch. You just got to figure out to place the the link to bring people up in instead of YouTube. And also, that paired can also come from anybody coming up from one of your YouTubes. Oh, if you YouTube feel judged. Place. In in this life, just put hashtag judgment. In, in, in I'm going to hashtag yours one day. Trust okay. me. DeAndre Hopkins um, against the Falcons. You know what's crazy? He should be getting numbers, but there's an issue going on with that team I'm not sure about. Mm. Okay, something... that, circle that wagon one more time. DeAndre Hopkins should be getting numbers against the Falcons, but they are saying to sit him. I disagree. I think he's hurt. Tan no, Tannehill is abysmal. Tannehill oh, is okay. abysmal. That's why. You have to explain to those who don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, Ryan, Tan Ryan Tannehill, the quarterback of the Tennessee Titans, is right. abysmal. Yeah. He has been playing poorly. He has wow. been, even on my worst day playing Madden against the tough team, I had better stats than Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> wow. See, here, here's the thing, uh, Brian. You got to remember my audience that is spiritual is probably watching this just to see what craziness i'm getting into and you just start saying a name they have no idea what you're talking about unless you add i mean deandre hopkins he's in his early 30s but the man can still go 
Yes, you can. He is a man playing with boys. I agree. It's just that Ryan Tannehill, the quarterback of the Tennessee Titans, needs to play better or needs to go be benched. Because I, I personally am very disappointed with Tannehill because I thought with the addition of DeAndre Hopkins in the offseason, it would boost uh, Tennessee because this I was all on Tennessee's bandwagon. Yeah, you call so, Brian, I have a question this, for you. I have a question week for you. Two, um, his week two stats, he had 20, 21 points. Since then, he's barely hit two points the last three yeah. weeks. Yeah. That, so, yeah, that's when I got mad. I said, oh, week one, they were abysmal, and now week two, oh, now Tannehill decides to play football. Yeah. yeah. So for those who don't understand big words like uh, abysmal. Tannehill. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you have to explain what that means. And the other thing I want to say is when is a receiver old? Because 31 years old as a receiver I think is fairly old, isn't it? That, that should be about a decade in the game, but most NFL players don't start getting good till they got 10 to 12 years in the league. Yes. And, and here's before. the problem with the word bismal. People think it's Pepto-bismal, and then they think they, they, this broadcast is about the runs, constipation, I'll be I'll be bloating. I'll be trying. Apparently, Ryan Tannehill's play, uh, his quarterbacking skills is Pepto-bismal. Yes. There you go. Now we're, we're getting to the meat of this. We're getting this. And if you, if you have an good. upset stomach, call the wonderful Texan, call Brian. Where the hell was that? Okay, that's He'll enough. That um, yes. KJ Feeling bloated? Osborne. KJ Brian. Osborne of the Vikings against the Packers. They say sit him. He has now played two games without Justin Jefferson. He's yet to crack 50 yards, double-digit fantasy points. And now one of them, in fact, he has yet to top 50 yards in the game this Tony, season. Tony, you didn't answer that question, though. I'm trying to keep the show moving before you start going off on your No, own. no, it's 31. It's 31 too old. That's I what I'm saying. That no. I answered that originally. I answered that. Yeah. The first thing I said you was. You said that for quarterbacks. No, I said that for everybody. Anybody in the league, you're not good until you get 10 to 12 years in. I've heard that more than once from NFL players. You got to get at least 10 to 12 years in before you're seasoned or you're at least good enough to be considered consistent or to have an impact or any aspect of respect. You will have numbers here. You will have numbers there. But you have to maintain them for a good decade. I, I disagree. I think if you're playing, I think you're playing wide receiver, or if you're playing running back. Running backs, what? They have three years, maybe. No, five. No, they can be in the league for five, but after three, it, it diminishes. After five, they don't have any value. That's one of the issues they've had. What the hell was that? They've had issues after five years, and that's one of the issues that was coming up at the beginning of the season. How running yeah. backs weren't getting paid enough because they don't last in the league long. I love what Fireman Rich did here. Yeah, he's he right it. back. That's cool. That's it is cool. cool. It is cool. KJ Osborne, they say sit him against the Packers. The narrative is on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. He's not getting numbers, period. Period. No debate. Jerry Judy, they say sit him against the Chiefs. I mean, what are you going to say against it? <laughs> uh, according, to, according to Steve Smith Sr., he's a jag, just a guy. Wow. Bears upset charges coming from golf. And a man that is not mentally mature enough to handle constructive criticism. I kind of I kind of disagree with that. Jerry Judy's decent. He's just on a team where he's not getting. He's just a guy. Apparently. Apparently. He's 24 he, years old. Yeah, so. he's young. He's young, right? He's still young. Former Alabama wide receiver. He's young. He's still got time. He's still got time. I dare say put him on another team and watch him skyrocket. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your wide receiver recommendations for weekend. But, but okay, so but before you go out. though, his last game, he was he was averaging twelve point eight yards per game uh, per uh -huh. uh, reception. Uh -huh. Yeah, but in one game you don't get three receptions for fourteen yards. It happens. He's just a guy. Steve Smith, you know what? I'm gonna get on Steve Smith. I know I like Steve Smith. I disagree. I want to get on Steve Smith's case, but I can't. With what he's done, I'm gonna say that conversation. I like Steve Smith, but I'm gonna say that conversation. Uh, these are going to be tight ends. Start them and sit them for week eight. Start Darren Wall of the Giants against the Jets. Um, being that this is an in state rivalry and this is a New York, New Jersey native team game, yes. Plus, I like Darren Wall as a tight end. No question. I like Darren Wall as a tight end. He's been good with her, he's been good, period. One of the more consistent tight ends in the NFL. Oh, man, he was awesome in, in uh, L.A. I definitely yeah. keep him as a top 10 tight end in the NFL, in my opinion. I mean, I, when, he, when he was a Raider. 
He was dominant. He was awesome when he was a Raider. But he still gets in there. I think he did good. What coming up best game of the season in which he caught the first touchdown of the postseason, 98 yards, 22 fantasy points. They're looking now, but well, he's a top five tight end on the season right now. Wow. Only yep. tight end with more yards is Travis Kelsey and TJ Hawkinson. There you go. See, Darren Wall is up there. Yeah. Sleep on him if you want to. Sleep on him. I won't. He's he's averaging uh, like his last game. He was he averaged fourteen yards per carry. Yeah, he does that if he gets the ball. Yeah, like you know, he, said, he was held with the Raiders. Darren Wall is he's no joke. Yeah, he's Darren no Wall is Darren Wall is a real deal. Yeah, he's no joke. He really isn't. And I got I got to say that he's I've, I've got nothing against this. Nothing. I have to watch this game. I got, let me find out. They're going to show it down here. This is this is the the, the must game that I'm watching. Of. This is probably a, a four can beer of uh, jet, uh, honey. This might be the whole What's six that? pack. This might be the whole six pack. This is the same what? Oh yeah, tell her I said hello. I love this. Yeah, yeah. T- Tony and the gang says hi. I, I, I'd say I'm going to drink four beers. I, I got Genesee honey beer that's in the can. It's He's on your case. Taysom Hill, the Saints against the Colts. I highly recommend Taysom Hill in your roster. Dude, Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill, yes. I would start him because the man is a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, exactly. I agree, Brian. You may have him starting as a tight end, but then he may be a wide receiver. He may be a running back. Or, which I own, which I own, <laughs> it was controversial in one year that I had him, he may play quarterback. <laughs> yeah, but he plays two positions. He's, 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 uh, he's 33 <clears throat> years old, guys. 33. But he's still – but. He's still utilized. I mean, he's like you know, the West Walker. Hall. He's like the West Walker of of the Saints. Golf Hall, I'll tell you something. On my on a fantasy roster, on a dream roster, if I could put together myself with no problem, I would have Tyrod Taylor, Taysom Hill, and Cordell Patterson on the same squad because they can all change positions. You know, oh, players oh. like this guy here, Tyson. Uh, there was a couple games last week where they put in these. I call them gadget guys. Mm-hmm. And the other team, when you see somebody coming in like that, that's not there to whole game, you know they're going to be throwing a gadget. I mean, I saw that like two or three times last week on several games. Yes, they are. Yes, they do, and yes, they will. Um, I'd start Taysom Hill, period. I, just, I would just yeah, have wow. to. Yes. Yeah. Golf there, you go, there you go, Brian. Go for it. Jake Ferguson. Go for it. Yeah, Jake Ferguson. I mean, like, he's pretty much the – I would probably it's, – it's a long shot. It's a stretch, but it might be the Jay Novacek 2.0. Mm. Yeah, 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 I agree. We talked about this about two, three seasons ago. I agree. Yeah. Wow, Golf Hawk says Darren Waller is just a guy. Yeah, you saw that, right? You saw that, right? Triggering. Ladies and gentlemen, start Jake Ferguson against the Rams. I like Jake. Start I agree with Jake. you. Oh, I think any team would want to have him, guys. He's he great. is Jay Novacek. He's he, great. He's, he's Jay Novacek, and he's Jason Witten. This is the truth. This is the truth. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and throw this out there. Jake Ferguson came in after after Jason Witten, and Dalton Schultz came in after Jake Ferguson. You want Dalton Schultz, and you want Jake Ferguson. Period. But, but here's why I like Jake, okay? And nowadays with the low scoring, if you have him in the end zone – He's 6'5". Mm-hmm. He's 244 pounds. Mm-hmm. Try outleaping him and try to move him. That is one big dude. Mm-hmm. In other words, in other words, he's me in shape. <laughs> how, how tall are you, Tony? I'm 6'2". 6'2". I'm well, 6'2". Three, three inches is a lot in most Three inches games. can be a lot, but he's only, he's only seven pounds heavier than me, and I'm not in the gym yet. If I got back in the gym and got my posture back, I'd probably be six three. You got skinny legs though, don't you? No. You you, you got like little little broomsticks for legs. I've got, I've got muscles all over, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. here we go. Dalton Kincaid <laughs> versus Bucks. <laughs> uh, PG um, PG. Okay, there we go. All right. Bathurst, you got this one. Dalton Kincaid, the Buffalo Bills against the Bucks. What do you think? Oh, I love him. Oh, he was awesome in this game. Yeah, I he absolutely was love him. Awesome. Yeah, he's finally starting to have a little light shined on him. And he's, exactly. he's finally, he's getting comfortable. You know, we expect way too much of these rookies, right? What, what do you think, Brian? I, I think the expectations are through the roof. You also have to work through 
whoever you work with, like the coaches, the other players, there's a lot of egos in, you know, football, period. And I think he's going to be a major star in the oh, next yeah. few years. I think he's going to be just as uh, like Kelsey and uh, uh, the tight end there from San Francisco. A so lot of people question. It's, 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 so, it's so cute that everybody is writing off Mark Andrews. Who is? <laughs> like Mark Andrews is not his. He's one Mark of the Andrews top. Is a given. He's a given. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I mean, Dalton Kincaid. Yeah, he's he's rookie. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot. Of, he's got a long way to go. But uh -uh, Ted, uh -uh. he's asking for it. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this Kincaid, there. Uh, if you look at the last several weeks, week four he had two point seven, one point nine in week five, week seven seven point. He exploded. He had he had twelve and a half points. And he was just all over. He was there when the, in, in some key plays uh, as far as that goes in that game that uh, uh, I was really impressed with this guy. And I, I was surprised. I was like, who is this guy? And, and I didn't realize he was a rookie, Mike. Yes. Um, I just want to say hello to James uh, Jennerich. I think I'm saying that correctly. He's also mm -hmm. enjoying the game. Um, unfortunately, we don't get Twitter comments. No, we don't. Thank you, Mike. Go ahead, please. And, um, you know, I, I hope they fix that. I've been asking them since last year. But that's Elon, I think, being cheap. No, because it was happening before him. It was oh, happening on HAPS. It was happening on HAPS. Okay, so at, let's ask Ted. What is the reason why the, the, the comments don't blend? Is it because of the coding? I is asked, it the way I it's done? I asked Ted that before. Yeah. If you need a stream of Michael Mayer, the Raiders against the Lions, oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I like that. He has taken over as a lead tight end for Vegas. He played 72% of stats for 22 routes for the Raiders last week. Well, that didn't trail. His, his numbers aren't all that great. A reminder that the floor in that particular season, upside of week eight, considering the matchup, Mayer will face the Lions, who are two, who are top two in both yards and touchdowns, a lot of tight ends. If you're looking for an upside swing. So he's a risk taker. I like that. I appreciate that recommendation. I appreciate that. I do. Sit him. John Lou Smith of the Falcons against the Titans. I hate this because he used to be a Titan. He was actually oh, good with the Titans. Revenge game. He was he was good with the Titans. Hmm. He was good with the Titans. Um, golf hawk. You say Kincaid is the man. I agree with uh, Kincaid being a decent Titan. I actually had him on a sleeper league that I was in. I had him on a watch list. He's just not getting the ball enough there. Buffalo spreads the ball out. Any team that's yeah. the ball out, yeah. they're not going to get the numbers. Even though you like the team and you like their play, they're not getting enough fantasy point numbers. But Tony, yeah. can, can we just address something quickly? This yeah. year, the only way the team seem to be winning is by having multiple targets. You have the, to. The, the, the days of having a running back do 300 yards, it, it seems to be oh. done. They neutralize that. Yeah. And if, if you have people guessing, I think because the talent is so powerful now mm -hmm. and intelligent mm -hmm. that you have to have multiple targets to keep them guessing. That's what's happening. That's how you spread the defense. I agree. I agree. You don't know where the ball's going. That's, that's, that's how you keep what, it what, what's going on there, Brian? Uh, you, Hang are on. We, are that's the dogs on? That's Charlie. Hang on. Luke, Luke. Luke, Luke Musgrave of the Packers against the Vikings. They say sit him. Wow. So he's not putting oh, up numbers. That, that's interesting. He's not putting up numbers. That's what that is. Yeah. He's in the game. Yeah, this is the game I, I dubbed the NFL's version of Ohio State against uh, um, Michigan. Michigan, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a tough one here. I'm not even mad at it. Um, David and Joko are the Browns. They say sit him against the Seahawks. I like and Joko as a tight end. He's not getting numbers. I have no debate against this. Yeah, yeah, no numbers. He's not getting any numbers. He's a great no. player. But he's not getting any numbers, and he's still yeah. going to the league, in my opinion. Somebody will have to verify that. No, I, I saw his number. His numbers are, are, are subpar exactly. as far as fantasy football are, points. Are they a Pepno Bismo? Oh, boy. Hunter Henry of the Patriots. I help him. Against the Dolphins. Now, here's what's crazy about this. Hunter Henry is another good tight end. He's going up against the Dolphins, and he's on the Patriots. That's what's going against him. Yeah. That's what's going against him. And he's up there with Jacecki. Jacecki's on the Patriots, too, I believe. So if, if you – okay, sorry. No, you go. Well, might just if you caught the game. So, if you were to bet on David, our our last, he said it's plus eight hundred for any TD. David, who? Garrett. 
are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's all right. I'll leave you alone. You check your meds this morning? I think so. Okay, I'm just making sure. The uh, the electroshock therapy didn't work, I don't think. No, they put it too close to the, to the spine instead of the brain. And you know what it was? I didn't have my Egg McMuffin on air. Ladies that and gentlemen, was, that was my problem right there. Week, 2023 season, of course, NFL.com. We are about to get to the defenses. Then I'm going to let Michael have the moment he's been waiting on. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to kickers. I'm just kicking kickers for a minute. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah, let's get the kickers. We don't do the, we don't give the kickers. Are, are we going to do predictions so. for next week while we're here? We will, that, that's a no, no, Mike. Well, uh, when I finish, we will. Um, I've been skipping kickers since last season, so I want to give them this week, mainly because normally we run the defenses, and you want to run your kicker with your defense in the first place. Did you know like, some of the top scores in the league are kickers? <laughs> but they've been missing a lot, Michael. You oh, I know. It's yourself. been awful this year. But <laughs> It's been a mess. Did, did you know that there was one week, the top scorer, period, was a kicker? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Jake Elliott of the Eagles against the Commanders? No debate. Yeah, no debate, Mike. Do you do you also know that they don't get paid much? <sighs> Dustin Hopkins of the Browns against the Seahawks. I actually, you know what? I will be a little skeptical of this one. I, I have will. no idea who this guy is. He's the kicker for the Browns, but I'm just yeah, saying they, yeah, yeah. But I, I, it's just like I'm looking at the team more than the kicker myself. Yeah. He, the Browns. I don't know. That game, I don't know as far as points specifically. I don't know. Kicking uh, three field goals at 50 plus yards, scoring 21 fantasy football points. So, yeah, I guess uh, you get the numbers there. You got the numbers. It's coming from right there. Yeah. Harrison Bucker, the Chiefs against the Broncos. Oh, he's solid. He's I solid. got no good defense. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's solid. He's he, even if he had a bad week, I would not be worried about him. Exactly. Yeah. Young Hoku. Yeah, you want him as a kicker. He's a good kicker. He's all right. okay. He's, reli- like I said, reliable as ever. Tony, you know what they're saying? A lot of the reasons that the kicking is bad. Why? Is the temperature of the ball. Mm. I'm going to go with the air pressure more than anything. The the temperature of the ball actually has a lot to do with it. I watched the show and I laughed. You can laugh, but if it's true, it's true, right? <laughs> right. Well, remember the old flake gate when... Uh... Exactly. Oh, look at who we got in the back. I didn't even see it over here. I didn't even hear anything. Ted oh, Hicks. Ted Hicks. I didn't He's even been... hear him in the background. My bad, bro. I didn't even oh. hear him. Is he coming in from today? He's got a yellow background. I didn't even know he was there. Ted, oh, he's Ted, in the studio. Ted, Ted feels disrespected as well. There you go. Thank you. Yes, baby. He's got the shirt on. I love he's, it. He's love better. It. He is better than the Pulsing Rose. There Y'all you go. Stop. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Hey, on, Ted, win, yes, yes. Hey, nothing better than that. Kickers to sit. Daniel Carson of the Raiders sit him against the Lions. I would not. I would not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sit a Raiders no, kicker. No, he, I think he's. If anything, the Raiders kicker is probably going to get more points than a lot of people because he's going to be kicking that ball every all damn game. Yeah. Tony, should we ask Ted of the things that he disagrees with what we had said? Once we get there, once we get there, oh. just hold on. We're almost done. We're almost done. Anders Carlson of the Packers against the Vikings. I don't know about sitting him either. I don't. I wouldn't sit him. I don't know about that. Rich? No, no, he's pretty good. No, I, I, I th- it, this game might come down to the kicker, so I don't know. If, is that, exactly. if that's our premier kicker, I wouldn't be, you know, if you, as far as that, for that particular game. Fantasy football, um, I don't know. This game – this could be a kicker's game. But every every team should have a kicker that can at least kick something that's 40 yards. We have people fumbling shit at 50, 50, 55. Yes, well, I understand. Older I, 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 I understand that. But if you're in around 35 yards, you don't miss those. You can oh, send Ted in, and paid, I think Ted yeah, could do it. Even with what you're getting paid, you should at least make those. Yeah, that's what you're being paid for. Right. Like it, that's only like a half stroke right there. I am at Graham Cano, the Giants against the Jets. I wouldn't sit Graham Cano because Graham Cano has been in the game for a minute. And he's one of the more reliable kickers and one of the longest enduring kickers in the NFL. I would definitely try to start him. I, I just wish they got more respect than they do. They just don't. We're giving it to him right now. We're giving it to him right now. No, Graham no, I'm not, t- I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the teams. Yeah, like I said, we'll be a start. Uh, Chase McLaughlin of the Bucks. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't I didn't see how that game went Thursday night. Rich, you got those numbers? Ted, one of y'all, please. For uh, what, Chase and uh, that game? I don't think there was that there wasn't that many uh, field goals in that game. Though the, the Bucks did get eight points. I don't know how they in the final in the fourth quarter. I don't know how they got eight points as far as that goes. I didn't watch the fourth quarter. But gotcha. um, this guy's so yeah, golf while talking to you. Good. Let's see. Golf, how you doing? Let me see what his stats are from that game. I didn't right. even watch that game. You didn't. I was able to catch some. Of he's it. he's twenty seven years old and he looks like he's thirty seven. Just the beard. Yeah, he does look. Yeah, the beard. The beard. <laughs> Sorry about that, gentlemen. No, you're fine. No, it's, it, the 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 other dog, uh, Ivory. She's just pretty much a motion detector. So something could be like eighty yards away. She sees it moving. She's gonna bark at it. You got an alarm system. Don't beat it. Uh, yeah, you know, and then. No, he only got two points. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's oh, we're doing kickers for the week eight 2020 season across NFL.com. All right, we are done now. Hey. Do what he's been trying to do all damn broadcast. Go for yours, Mike. Go for yours. When, no, I want to hear from Ted. I that, that, that. we got Ted here. I want to know what he disagrees with. Um, I First of all, do you feel like I don't have a spiritual audience? That's number one. No, I do feel like you have a spiritual audience. That's why I said Tony, easy. Easy. We yeah, ain't easy, easy all broadcast. I ain't calling shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to ease Michael's audience into this. You know, it's kind of like, what was it, like six weeks ago when the Swifties invaded the NFL? Right. It was just kind of yeah. like, Okay, here's some of the plays. This is what you need to and do. What's crazy is like, a lot of his people already know me. They know I'm behaving. He keep trying. He keep pushing. They know I'm behaving. <laughs> I I think this is all entertainment. We're always blessed to have each other here. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Ted, yes. for for being here. I I know you feel undervalued at times. Never. And they and they say things like he's busy. I know you're not busy. I know you want to be here. Then, when you get in the room, they don't even let you in. They're just going on and on and on about this. this. And they're this. chewing food and, you know what I mean, slurping slurpers. And, oh, hey, look at that. We're doing sign language. Let's do it together. There we go. Do you feel a pulsing rose in that? Oh, my God. Do you lose the rose. Lose the rose. You can't help it. You can't help it. There you go. You can't help it. Ted, anything Did you, you know she to... was a beauty queen? Okay, I'll leave that one. Ted, anything oh. you want to contribute to the broadcast? Anything you want to add with what we've been covering position wise, game wise, team wise, player wise? Go for it. I, I'm the only thing I'll say is this I'm jazzed for Jets Giants. I am too. I wish yes. it was a later game. I wish it was a later game, maybe like a four o'clock game. Mm -hmm. Why is that, Ted? Hmm? Why is that? I, I don't know. It just it it kind of gets caught up in the crush of the one o'clock games because you know oh, that's the one true. yeah 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 you this know would be good, this would be a good eight, eight o'clock game there premium right and could you imagine if you had Aaron Rodgers versus Danny Dimes at eight o'clock at night mm. yeah. yeah but I mean we we're gonna have Zach against T Mobile <laughs> Tyrod Taylor so. Yeah. I understand. I understand. But so I just want to switch gears for one second here. He said I could do that. So Go for it. if we are to speculate for the year, here we go. This is no stirring. Most it's, likely no, Super Bowl gears. matchups. Kansas gears. City versus Philly, like last year, or Kansas City versus San Fran. Or let's go, you ready? Baltimore. The Ravens against Philly or Kansas City against the Lions. Which one of those do you like the best? In the room, each person go. Now, if I had the ability, I could actually put the graph up, but I've been handcuffed. You have not been handcuffed. You haven't allowed me to share the screen. If you show that you want to share. Yeah, just, show, just go ahead and put it up on the present, Michael, and then uh, give, give him present access, Tony. He no, hasn't he shown you, you, no you put it up on the present. Tony sees that, and then he can he initiate. Oh, he initiates okay. It. Oh, so, you, okay. so I, I you're, fil my... you're filtering me. 
No, I, I didn't put up my charts. That is my, wise. They're in the queue, and then uh, Tony brings that up when he wants to. He has the control. So uh, you can, you can so play. Mike, you say you're all about the control. Mike is not used to not having control. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. There may be truth there. There, there may be truth there. He's losing his that, I can't do what I want to do. I can't do what I want to do. Damn. That pulsing rose. All right. Wow. Hey, so are you are you putting up the graph? He hasn't shown it yet. No, I'm not doing it. You know why? Because I'm not getting respect. I'm getting mean. Mean. Sadie, how you doing? Hi, Sadie. Oh, yeah. Hello, Sadie. Here's the kicker, hey, Mike. Sadie. If somebody else is hosting, if you want to shit, there it is. There it is. That's what I need. That's all I, I know need. what I'm doing. There you go. There you go. That's all I need. Let's see it. That's all we need. Right Whoa. There. there you go. You know, but he don't want no help. He's got this. Mm. I do got this. this I do got this. <laughs> I do got this. Wow. I have to acknowledge when you have it, return the favor. <laughs> what are, I mean, I mean, what about oh, I don't know, Detroit against Jacksonville? Most likely Super Bowl matchups. The time was <clears> a <throat> given. The second one was damn near supposed to be last year. The third one I don't see happening. And the fourth one, whew. it's always a pleasure with you, Sadie. Thank you, Sadie. Always welcome, Sadie. Thank you for being here. On Brain that chart, such a my, my view is it's it's one of the top two as far as that goes. Yeah. I, I, feel that that, is, I think the uh, this third one there, Baltimore, they'll, they'll definitely be in the playoffs and stuff, and Detroit will also. But I at this point, you know, as we're just he heading into the midseason, we still got a whole full have a long road of football, as uh, was stated earlier here. But I, I think for, realistically – the first two. And I I'm seeing, looking forward to the one I would love to see would be the first one. I remember hey. being on this very broadcast, and we were talking about Detroit was, you know, they weren't pretenders. And then we, well, I think last week happened. And yeah. so Ye I have little faith, right, Ted? Is that what yeah. you're saying? I would discount them. I love the Baltimore Ravens. I love what they do. Um, but I can't see anyone getting past KC. Oh, um, Miami, Mike. Jacksonville. Miami, Miami could do it right now. And who thinks it's going to be a repeat of last year? I got a feeling it's going to be a repeat. Me too. That's my original. That's my original prediction. Yeah, San okay. Francisco should be up there. In my, San Francisco, and Miami, are number two in each respective conference. <clears throat> Wait, did you guys talk about Sam Darnold starting today for San Francisco? And yeah, they, they, there's go. speculation on that. Go, do it. Sam Darnold. Woo. Here's a question nobody's talking about. Ted, if, speak your mind. What if Mahomes doesn't start? He is He is playing today. He, he'll start. He'll start. Yeah. Okay. Will he he'll say start. the whole game? He's playing. No. He say he's playing today, so we'll see. If they oh, blow him out in the in, in in the first half, then probably he'll take the second half off. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Actually, Kansas City might blow out Denver in the first half. You're right. I, Mike, I just remember watching Sam Darnold. We were waiting for him. We, mm -hmm. as in, like I'm a part of the team, but I'm a part of the fandom, and attending and attending games, and the fact that the Jets failed Sam Darnold. I know the whole I see ghost and all of that type of stuff. Right. But they failed him because they didn't develop him. I'm yeah, know. but this this is common. With the Jets, they don't know how to develop quarterbacks. A lot of teams don't. We covered True. that. We did talk about that today. We did talk about that. Okay. It is it is so difficult well, for you, rookies. And, yes. Unless you're better off now to be picked like 10th. Or twelfth, than you are <clears throat> first or second. Like look at what Bryce has gone through this year. Yeah, like it's a it's a miracle he's not dust. I know. I, what are your guys' thoughts on? And I know this is usually the second part of the show. Um, what are your thoughts on throwing these quarterbacks in in, in into the fire, and versus letting them sit and watch because? You would think that the game is so much faster with the NFL rather than you know the Division Two or Division uh, One, Two, or Three opponents that they faced the previous four years. What's your take on that? Sit or throw them right in? 
I'd um, say to... they they don't value them. I'm sorry, the owners don't care. They they look at it as they have a window of one year to prove themselves, and if they don't, they'll uh, they'll move on. And it it's sad, but it's true. And how many people have been not ready, like you said, and not uh, and ended up you know having career ending injuries and only play in the league for a few years oh we just got paired again gimlay 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 thank you for being here let's see what the question is gary wilson jr aaron jones and flip gary wilson gary wilson um based on the giants and how they've been looking i gotta agree aaron jones being on the packers going against the vikings i don't know about this one this week i'll take gary wilson over aaron jones normally aaron jones is the number one Mm -hmm. Normally, Aaron Jones is a given, but I would say Gary Wilson. I uh, appreciate the PPR as well. Question. PPR as well. I'd still take Gary Wilson. I would. I would still take Gary Wilson. Thank you for the question. Appreciate you being here. Y'all continue, please. Thank you. No, Mike. Mike was talking about the fact that um, earlier was talking about you know we what we talk about how the the running backs have that three year window and they don't get that second contract or that second contract. They're kind of whittled down, but you feel the same way about quarterbacks because quarterbacks are highly paid. And for the most part, they get that second. For the most part, they get that second contract without too many issues. Right. So Mike, you stand by your your thoughts on? I well, I, I tried to talk about it, and I got railroaded and told it was five years, and it's it's just not true. It, <laughs> I see, I see and, and the thing is, when you get smacked enough, right? You you just go okay. You just go okay, <laughs> and then you wait in the room by yourself. You know, I'm just <clears> wondering: <throat> is this guy washed up, or is he still good? Uh, uh, no, the man is still dominant. He's still flinging. He's still flinging defenders around. I I love his straight arms, but they don't yeah, want to pay him. It's it, it's called stiff arm. They don't want is to that? pay him. Stiff arm. Straight arms, he's not right. Is arms. that a wrestling term? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> have no. Have you ever watched a show where people slap each other? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. uh, no, but Der Derrick Henry, I mean, he's 33. The man could still go. I mean, is he 33? Yeah. Yep. Over the 30 mark, is he still good? Oh. Wow. Yes, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me he's double 31. Check. 31. Well, he's 31. 31, 31 32. What's two years? He's still I know. Good. I mean, That's he's a lot still good. If you're he's more than 30. You, you, you know what? There's only one running back that ever came to mind that defied all the odds when everybody wrote him off. Fred uh, Ta Fred Taylor when he when he played for Jacksonville. I thought you were gonna say Adrian Peterson. Well then him too, but I'm talking about like the man was like 38, 39, close to 40, and Fred Taylor still was making those boys look like kids. Can we talk about trades for a moment if that's okay? Sure. Uh, no. So, would you trade for this individual? Wait, 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 stop. Frazier is in the house. Frazier, how the hell are you? Frazier, thank Frazier. you. And thank you for caring enough to be here. Appreciate I know you're part of my spiritual audience. And you know what? These people just don't show me respect. I'm <laughs> like the Rodney Dangerfield of this broadcast. I'm not falling. I get this. no respect. Listen, I'm about to get on there. Uh, I still get no respect. I, I tried to get Frazier to come up on my broadcast. You know what he said? Frazier used to come up all the time. I know. Mm -hmm. He's he's mad at me now. He's given up. No, he's not. He's given up. That's it. He said, if you associate with that Tony D, I'm done. A lot of people have said that. That's you might, it. You might want to keep rolling with your boy. I, you might want to keep rolling with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you, Frazier. You might want to keep rolling with you, man. This you is the place to be. Everywhere. I'm no fool. Follow me, follow I know. Me that, yeah. That's right. Right <laughs> yeah. What was the question? I'm sorry. Where are we? What's my name? Okay. <laughs> we were oh. talking about um this trade, but again, railroaded, trade. Yeah. dismissed for somebody across the pond. I guess. Yeah, it. but the, they just got they just got him. 
Mm. Yeah, but they don't respect anybody of that team. Well, I mean, they're zero and they're they're zero and six. I know. They're, 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 they're a brand new team. They're in shambles. And I'm a Carol. I, I follow the Carolina Panthers. They're in shambles. Look at what they. But do. we just talked about this, right? Bryce Young. Bryce Young. Bryce he Young. Just, he just got there. The team he got there. Brand new. They remember who they were when Cam was there. All of them are damn near gone. Yeah, but Cam That's Cam crazy. was one of those guys that can could win a game for you himself. And he came back, and he still he did one decent game, and that was it. He's done. Yeah, I but I'm worried that. that's going to be Anthony Richardson because he's a, a prototype oh. again. Ted, what are you saying? Speak your mind. Anthony Richardson. I mean, I did not like – when he was out there, I just didn't like his style of play. I'm like, this guy's going to get himself killed. And yeah. then three games he's later, RGD, Yeah, he's doing an RG3. Three style, three style yep. Three games later, done for the whole season. Yep. We've got another paired here, guys. We got another pair. What are you talking about? Okay. I don't know. What you talking about, Willis? Okay. So for Anthony all Richardson, fans, he doesn't change even when he's a guest, just so you know. <laughs> but uh, as far as far as like the trade rumors, because uh, I know like Derrick Henry was mentioned, but the Titans are like, no, we're not going to trade him. Adam Thielen, it'd be it'd be very foolish to trade your wide re- your a very top notch wide receiver when you just got him. You know what's crazy? I can't believe the Vikings got rid of him. They got rid and of him Dalvin, and, and Dalvin Cook. Cook. Yeah, they got rid of both of them. That was yeah, they got rid of a couple people there too. That was bananas. That was to get bonkers. Him. That was bananas. I think that's had an effect on the Vikings too. That's my emphasis. But but yes. But since Adam Thielen's getting, he's getting noticed again. I mean, his stats. I mean, throughout the whole game, he's ha- he's having high double. The only there's only one low game he did, and that was week one. But mm-hmm. week week two, twenty point four points. Week three against Seattle, thirty one point five points. Keep going against Minnesota, fifteen point two. Against D- against Detroit, twenty seven point seven. Against go. Miami, twenty eight point five. So why mm. why would you want to trade this guy? Cap space. Then you shouldn't trade. Then you shouldn't Cap got space. the guy. You shouldn't and got him. And, you shouldn't got him in the first place. Then and that equals That's dead money, Tony. Well, they got rid of him. I can't think of any other reason to get rid of him. Tony. Yes. Switching gears again. Let's Tony. go. Is this not one of the best quarterbacks in the league still? Jalen Hurts. Yes. Yes. Is is he an undervalued asset, oh, or is yeah. or is he a hype machine? He got um, to the Super Bowl. He is far from undervalued. He doesn't have the parts that other quarterbacks have. That's Explain just, that, Fireman Rich. He, the receivers, the other co- top notch. Oh no! Oh, hurts. Hurts. Oh no! He is a. T- I'm I'm thinking of the guy from Chicago. I'm sorry. Um, no, Jeff I think Taylor. he's a great quarterback. I mean, uh, I just hope he doesn't get caught up like all these quarterbacks. He's sort of like, are they fumbling like Dak? I think maybe he's made one no, too many. He, no, he has. He showed more initiative than Dak. I mean, because you saw at the yeah. Super Bowl, the oh, yeah, yeah, Philadelphia yeah. score was all him. Yeah, and I'm thinking Hurts. Uh, he's he's definitely performed this year. I think he's going to be one of the premier quarterbacks in the future. Um, you know, as far as uh, when we start seeing a, uh, a d- decline of uh, uh, Josh Allen and. Uh, uh, Mahomes and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, there's some some young quarterbacks. Um, you could say that about um, Zach there, the Jets, but he just he's. Michael has said this before. He's he's shown a lot more confidence this year than he has in the years past. Yes. But any good quarterback, you've got to have those tools. If they don't have the tool, the receivers to go to, they have to have. They, what are they going to do? Just throw the ball and hope to be catch? No. You see some of these catches over the last several weeks and stuff like that. Baker Mayfield used to do it. What's the other guy? Johnny Manziel. He's just throwing it's an the ball art form. It's an it. art form. They just don't wheel it. You know, it's like they're out there. I mean, there's hours, hundreds and thousands of hours of practice involved in that. And that's a skill set that uh, I think is overlooked as far as just throwing that ball the way some of them throw it. Mm-hmm. Can, can, can I ask a question? Tell me if you have a problem with this. Go. <clears throat> No, it doesn't have to do with Michael. Okay, so stop it. Everyone, knock it off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well we played. Love you, Mike. Come on, man. It's just great to have you back up here. 
Rob. We gotta turn y'all Twitters off. Turn them back on, dog. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta add. Um, what's the name? So here's the one thing I was gonna say, really quick. Devonte Adams was Dope. on the Rich Eisen radio show slash simulcast TV show. Now this guy is a great receiver. He's north of thirty or just turned thirty, um, and he's talking about a reunion with Aaron Rodgers and how much he misses Aaron Rodgers. And, oh, yeah. and, and, and I'm like, you, you got, you signed a $140 million contract. What are you mm -hmm. doing? Talk Focus to on your team. And you're talking about, Oh, Aaron and I, we stay in contact. And I, I, I we, we text all the time. And Ted, you know what that's about? Really? What's it about? Think about it. It's trying to get about. traded. It's money. It's negotiations it, on on the side there. If anybody, the if anybody is close to, you know, uh, you, Ted Hicks or mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers, they're they're going to get paid. Right. Right. You're going to get paid. Like it's, he is a movie star. Yes. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> could be a movie star. He has proven absolutely nothing this year. Nothing. That he, except that he can get hurt, but. Oh my God, he is beloved. People love him. He, I swear, he could run for president. And people he, go, "Yep." Adams was on for a twenty-minute interview, talking, I mean, gushing about Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "You haven't played with this guy in two years." But they enjoyed themselves when they were together, right? No, it's money, That's Tony. Good. Come on, That's it's endorsements. I mean. I is he is well, he possibly he seeing an opportunity in uh, in the Jets? Mr. Jojo, what's good? Mr. B, come on up, buddy. Hey, Mr. B, Jojo. Listen, if Mr. B comes up, I'll go because I've got to walk the dog. You don't, you don't have to. Don't have to, have to go. Go. Uh, well, you, you can you can leave me in the wings until I get back if you're still here. You don't have but, to. But uh, no, I'm, I'm telling you, anybody that hitches their wagon with right now, uh, the Kelsey brothers. Or Aaron Rodgers, and I think Aaron Rodgers has more star power than the Kelsey brothers together. Devontae is a real diva. I could believe that. Oh, I, I've heard Devontae, that. He used to get the ball. That's why. No, but here's he the thing. Fireman Rich and I had an argument about this the other day, and I said receivers in general are divas. And they're, no, they're, I, they're, I, they're, I they're drama queens. That was no argument. I don't argue, Michael. You got to get that through your mind. I discuss things. We discussed it, okay? Exactly. And I think I agreed with you discussion. for the most part, okay? He just put his hands around my neck and shook your wedge it over and in said, this box listen, over here. boy. I agreed with you on that, if I recall. Oh my We're going to have to go back to the tape. Go back to the tape, and, and I'm you, telling you. No, I agree it, with you. It, that it'll be in the courts for all that, that abuse. We, we, I know. You brought up the, the fact about Buffalo, and there is a diva aspect there, and I was agreeing yes. with you finally. Yes. I may disagree with you back. He's a moron. There is. The, the, the person we're talking about is moron, not you, Fire Marge. Yeah. You're awesome. No, but, no but this There's is what happens. It Buffalo. becomes these huge ego trips. Huge ego okay. trips. Okay. Hey, Ray, Tyre so okay, Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill, if he was still with the Chiefs, would anybody have a chance? Probably no. not. No. And yes. Do you know why they got him out? Because he tried to run the team. It's like Tony's going to boot me out because I'm trying to run this broadcast. <laughs> no. I haven't tried to. I haven't tried to. I haven't tried to. You get a kick out of it, ain't you? <laughs> hey. Tony, remember the, the broadcast that we were on two weeks ago and Mike joined us and then he had us talking about gratitude and everything else like that. He, he totally yeah. took control of the broadcast and had us talking about gratitude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I think over. It takes slump over all types of this. All types. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on Stir the Pot Productions, available by oh, all your God. providers. Thank you. Jimmy G. I think Jimmy G will be fine. What are you Falk. talking about? Um, he had a concussion. He got his bell rung. Golf Hawk, here's the crazy part. Team seeing the rally against that dude. There's something about him that's a good thing. So, yeah, yeah you kind of probably want him on your squad. Oh. I don't know how it's going to work out with the Raiders, but the way the 49ers got to the Super Bowl with him and everybody was criticizing him as a quarterback, that tells me teams rally around him. That's Wait, a plus. Is, is Jimmy G playing today? Yes. There you go. How? 
He's yeah, in he concussion protocol. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Hang on. Let me, uh, let me find Dude. Out. They're going to turn him into uh, a Tua. Yes, they are. Uh, Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking control, folks. He's taking control. What, what's going on, man? I was, this is I was right <laughs> It's hard being a guest, isn't it, Mike? <laughs> I miss hosting. I can't. Tony, host. congratulations. Restream. Our, our streamers may not see this, but you've reached uh, 100 messages today uh, with your restream chat. I don't I don't see it. On my okay. Screen. So what I have here, according to Bleacher Report, Raiders Jimmy Garoppolo cleared to return back from back injury will start versus Lions. Wow. Okay. Good. So he didn't get his bell rung? Good. It was his back. Okay. Yes. So, uh, well, will he be able to perform coming back from back injury compared to being get your bell ring? That that's too. And he's already thirty one years old too. Yeah, yeah. The back uh, when you get older, that could be a factor in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Wow, they. Wow, I didn't know they did that. It's like when healthy Garoppolo hasn't exactly justified the Las Vegas decision to hand him a three-year, $72.8 million contract. Mm. Mm. That was that was cost effective too, because every they were doling out the way they were doling out money, it's crazy. Tony, the yes. picture we have here reminds me very much of our broadcast in our family with you know. I, I've always considered you kind of like Herman Monster myself thank you do you guys remember that show yes we're gonna take we're gonna take that back down. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take that back down jeez i'm checking my rosters now trying to see what we got going on hey right rich i missed this i missed i mean I, and i want to apologize to you no don't no i have to because when you and michael were going back and forth and you said though it was the discussion we weren't arguing and Mike said, we're going to go to the videotape. I was waiting for you to say, and just like Warner Wolf, let's go to the videotape. Oh, uh, it's just like uh, golf said, I'm throwing, I, I, I got a white flag. Yes. Just, just pretend this is red. There it is. Got it. Challenge. <laughs> I think, no, I think no. we have good discussion. Mike, Michael is very gracious as far as bringing me up. And we have some very good uh, morning uh, discussions there and stuff like that. So it's just uh it's a real treat, just like being on this broadcast with, with you all. Oh, this is amazing. I'll remember this forever. This is, this is, we, we've got momentum here, brothers. Wow, look you at know, that. We keep fantastic panel, a fun panel to be with. My back spinal, AK Mike Tyson. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, I, and oh, I love that, Tony, have you ever had this award before? Yeah, me no, I don't think. Oh, I that's a first. So because, I think what uh, we need to I'm, do is get five hundred the next time. I don't even see but, it. I don't know how you all see. It. I don't even see it on mine. You read one hundred messages. Yeah, uh, restream chat. Ah, I'm on the chat I'm looking. I don't see the award at all. No, why is that? I don't know. Normally, I'm supposed to see it. I don't know why I don't. It's in the comments. Not on my end. Interesting. It's all good. I'm glad I got it. Appreciate it. I'm glad I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love this, uh, all the pairing. I love everybody that came from Twitch, even though I don't fully understand what's going on. But that that's that's been most of my life. I just, you know. I you're, scatter. No, you're learning, Michael. You're doing I'm good. I'm like the big Lebowski. I just end up here. I go there. I, you know, I, I, I hijack Where's your white Russian? Yes. Yes. I'm taking. See, it shows how intelligent he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. I ain't see you, bro. My bad. JoJo's in the house. Yo, Yo. Yo. Fellas, what's happening? How y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey. My Watch bad, where you bro. place that hand. <laughs> I'm, shaking, I'm shaking my roster, so forgive me for that. Yes. All good, all good. Mr. B, I have a question for you. Do you ever watch uh, broadcasts where people hit each other in the face? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Power slap. Don't Power slap. <laughs> there you go. Would would you ever maybe commentate on something like that? And who are some of the better slappers in this room? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Bathurst. <laughs> Power slap. Yes. Is a ridiculous sport. 
I have no idea how it's made it this far. Um, there's a couple guys in there that I kind of know. But even as I watch, I just wonder how we got to this point. But Seriously. how do these people not rupture their eardrums? I mean, I'm serious. Or lose teeth or have brain damage. Well, there yeah. were they were mouthpieces and then they have the uh, the earplugs. Yeah. But at, no. at, at, yeah, but at some point taking excessive shots like that, yeah, it's gonna cause some amount of yeah, whether it's ear damage, some brain damage, possible CTE. Dislocated um, jaw. Yeah. What 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 kind of money will you make if you win? That that's what I'm curious. Because not... for me to lose teeth in my hearing <laughs> and brain capacity, it better be a lot. They're not making well for for as far as the guys that are doing it outside of what Dana White's doing. Some of those guys have made some pretty good money, but so far these guys that are on Dana White's payroll. What they're making like two thousand to show up, two thousand to win, five thousand oh, no to show up, way. five thousand to win, and then if it, mm. and if it's a championship belt, it's like ten thousand or twelve thousand. So it's almost like street fighting. Almost, yeah. yeah. But sanctioned. Yeah. So listen, guys, I've got to walk my dog. I, if you're still here, thank you, everyone. <clears throat> uh, t who's going to run the show here? T Ted, you got this. Ted. Okay. Tony, Tony stepped away there. So. Oh, okay. I, I think Got once it. we he was so disgusted by all the slapping, he decided this is my moment. I, need to leave. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, like the slap fighting. I mean, it's 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 been around a while from what I've yeah. uh, from what I understand because it mainly originated in Europe. So in Europe, it's big over there. Yeah, I I, I hate to say this, I enjoy when the women hit each other more. Michael, oh, come on! No, I'm serious. I'm gonna, I like you know watching it. it. You know what it I is? do, and they get I'm all pumped up, and they're like, "Yeah," because you see the aggression. Oh, you oh wow, he went off screen. <laughs> and they take go lows. Oh, I understand. I understand where Michael's coming from. I think it's hilarious. They get all. Whether it's the power slap or any comp comp competition, like combat sports with ladies. They bring in an extra level of aggression that you're not quite familiar with. It's very, it's, it's entertaining. Sheena Bat, Sheena Bathory is Bay, hands down. Oh look, we got another pairing craziness here. I mean, <clears throat> Sheena Bathory. I mean, like she's gonna pretty much run the whole women's division in slap fight. She's gonna be the. She's gonna the be slap fight as Ronda Rousey. I mean, I mean, she's dominant. She, she's she's wow. awesome. The Hungarian Hurricane. What's happening, little man? You good? All right. Yeah. All pro Everybody pass. check their rosters. That looks freaking awesome. Three you need to get that for Jason. What's that? Oh, forty nine ninety nine. What's that? The All Pro Passer. It's an automatic passing machine. I got the, on the tablet the NFL channel. So it's a, a self passing. Oh, that is so freaking cool. I just had to mention it. Bathers, if you guys want to put up there, let me know. I got you, Rich. Uh, three minutes before the game starts, everybody's checked their rosters. I just finished checking some of mine. I'm trying to see if any new news is popping up. Oh, yeah. Ted got his Jets jersey on. Yeah, he do. Jets versus Giants. <laughs> it's a heavy game today. That's a very heavy. I don't think I'm picking it. If it's a one o'clock game, I don't have it in my area. So, so you, so you, so do you want to go by the rankings of the belt league of the belt kings go uh, league? It. Go for it, Brian. So currently ranked first, big old nasty thing. He is still undefeated because he barely got by me. Get him, get him. He's seven and zero. Oh. Get him. I I manage the Texas Cattle Skulls, and I am ranked second at, with a record of five and two. Followed by our my fellow co-host, the <laughs> mayor's council at five and two. That's right. King Cam is uh fourth place at four and three. Shout Gl Cam. Glick is at four and three. Yeah. Captain Rehab is in the sixth spot at three and four. <coughs> the Liga Shadows is at three and four <clears throat> at seventh at the seventh spot. 
Chargers Nation is at the eighth spot at two and five. The squad is at ninth place at two and five. Yep. And Ace World's All Stars, aka Smoke, is unbeaten or un. He ain't got a win, damn it! Just say he ain't got a win yet. Unwinnable at Unwinnable. zero and seven. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You all miss. <laughs> I'm still, I, you know what? I'm, he can have I'm, the perfect season. <clears throat> I'm still yeah. pissed yeah. off yeah. about that. I am still pissed off about it. he barely got by me. I, I he had he had uh uh he had Deshaun Watson and I had the Detroit defense and Detroit just pretty much forgot how to play defense. Uh, Deshaun Watson was out, so it's like okay, so now it was the supporting cast that he barely got by me. I am so pissed off about it, and now I'm going against him head to head in the nonsense nonsensical nonsense pot uh uh, fantasy football league, and Helen. he's seven and zero here. But on the nonsensical nonsense, he is one in six. Who I is? mean, big old nasty thing, and a uh, big old no. nasty thing, and not in a uh, Glix uh, deal. He is one in six, and I am three and four. What's my rank is in nonsensical nonsense? Uh, four and three. Thank you very much. It's a tight league for the most part. It's a tight league. I got you, Mike. What you got here? But ha- but it doesn't make sense. He is one in six in one league, but yet he's undefeated in our league. It happens. It depends on how you draft and when you draft and who you get left with. It happens. Hey, guys, quick question. Who Yo. y'all got for the Bengals 49ers game? 49ers. I got the Bengals. Bengals. Um, is Joe Burrow? Upset. Upset. Is Joe is Joe Joe Barrel is starting? I believe yes, so. Yes. We talked about that. Yeah. Do, you, do you see Bengals on this list day. here? Oh, every game is low scoring. Yeah. yeah. Except for the Patriots. Are they, are they going to score in the first place? <laughs> no, but even for the Dolphins, that's low. Thirty points is low. Against. Thirty points is about a standard for them. It should be. Ted, you Ted, you got San Francisco. Do you want me to change that? Nope. Okay, you're gonna stay with San. Francisco. I'm gonna stay with San Francisco, but okay, I, I was on the show of Burrow. Oh, okay. I'm sticking with the Bengals. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take the Bengals yeah. on that one, man. I'm hoping my Steelers can beat the Jaguars today. I think I uh, uh, agrees with you on that. Um, I, AFC. I, I'm supporting all of the AFC South today. Jags. Jags, Titans, Colts, and Texans. We're all doing it this year. Rams, Rams or Cowboys? Today. Rams or Cowboys? Oh, I took Cowboys. 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 See, I, I, I think it, the Cowboys are going to lose. I think the Cowboys are going to lose. I'm Sorry, taking guys. the Rams. I don't know. I got a feeling. JoJo's got a feeling. I got a feeling. Bishop, Bishop. That could be an upset. <laughs> He's got a feeling. You got to roll with it. You gotta roll with it. uh Rich. Wait, 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 Jojo. Yes. I thought you were a Patriots fan. Rich, you've got. I'm not a Patriot. So what? You should be a Boston Red Sox fan. I'm a Red yeah. Sox fan and a Bruins and fan. Bruins. Bruins. And then should yeah. you? Uh, that's automatic. You go with Patriots. Nah, you don't go. With, oh no, 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 no. no. I'm not. Down, I'm not down the line. <laughs> yeah, he's not down the line. Rich, you show the, the show the overall numbers. Oh, the overall. Yeah, hang on. Let me uh, present that. Yeah, Mike, anything here, so, else you uh, want to bring up? Let me know too. Let me get Rich's numbers up. Then I know you want to cover something. Go. For it. Um, where did I put those? Hang on. But so far, bring it up. So far, like pick wise, who's who's winning in the picks? This is uh, this is week seven. You can see Tim Fan Forty. He uh, he, along with I don't know how I because I was losing my ass on the first half. Brian, you moved up. This is just for last week. Michael, uh, we got his picks uh, for for week uh, seven uh, above five hundred. CBS five. Ted and Tony. Well, you see where they're at Ooh. overall now. Uh, we don't include Michael because I don't have the stats for like the first couple games and stuff like that. But uh, um, you can see. Um, I'm still at the top for some reason. I'm expecting myself to take a nosedive here because you guys are the pros, not me. 
Ted, and, didn't, uh, didn't I, Ted, didn't I give you the week pick, uh, the week six picks to send to Rich? I, I didn't receive them. So just send them. I can update it, Brian. That's that's that, that's no problem. His, I'm his more concerned about talking to your consistent. people. Don't you worry. Yeah. I yeah. believe he did. <clears throat> I thought I sent it. I, I, I did send it. I, and, and I thought Tony was going to send them. I thought I did send them. Yeah, I, I almost got mixed up that the, the the ones I had for last week they were actually a makeup and then yeah. I'm looking. Wait a minute, I, I, already I, I wrote it down. I wrote it down and I yeah. tossed it. Yeah. Just redo it, Brian. It, it's all it's all good. Hey, Mike. It's all good. Yes. You saw you saw Just how pick I, every, was, all the winners, nice okay? Pivot. Then you can move up. What's that? I said that all was right, a nice make, pivot. Make it happen. <laughs> I pick Brian all the winners. Said, hey Ted, didn't I send you the picks? And I said, Yeah, you did send them to Tony. Yeah, and then Tony sent me that piece of paper, <laughs> a snapshot DM. It's all good. Uh, We're having fun well, with it. I, well, yeah, you, you, can put, you can put me down week six, so all the ones who won. Leggy lady, thank you. Okay, that'll move you up a couple notches. Yeah. Thank you. Now so like, what is the game, the game that's going on today? Which one for you guys is the one that you're most gravitating to, that you're most excited about? Oh, Jets, Giants. Jets, Giants. Jets Giants. Battle of New Jersey, man. Come on. Exactly. exactly. Jets, Giants off the rip. Off the rip. And then after that, what's the next game? Um, let me see what I got. Let me see the ones I'm going to pick. Actually, the game just started. Uh, Jets got the ball, and um, it's first and – Second down. Oh, okay. They, were, they I'm just started say the game. Cincinnati and San Francisco for me. Yes. Good choice. Who did <clears> you, <throat> you pick? Who'd yeah. you pick, Ted? Well, on the on the books, I picked San Fran, but I'm rooting for the Bengals. I got Rams, Cowboys, and Atlanta, Tennessee in my area right now. Mm -hmm. The four o'clock game is Looks like it's going to be Cincinnati 49ers for me. Yeah. Then tonight. Who's the big game for tonight? I'm looking now. Eight o'clock is Chicago and LA. Chicago and LA. Yeah, I'm going to Now, if y'all want to do a post game show, I don't have to get up early tomorrow because I got to go out of town for a conference. Oh, oh all right. right. No, I can be I'll up, be hanging. I can be up tonight if y'all want to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. We should yeah. be in, yeah, so that it means that it'll be a non-drinking day today, then. Oh, I'm drinking. You good? No, okay. oh, I'm drinking too. Because you, know, you want, because you want the I clarity. The you want the clarity of mind, right? To be I able to. Ah, I don't get drunk. I will football. drink, but I don't get drunk. I may get tipsy, but I ain't gonna be drunk. Just so you know, no. I still got half a bottle no. in there to finish tonight. But I'm you know what that reminds me of? I don't drink you anymore. Know what, Tony, I don't drink anymore. If you're out tonight, I can finish. The, I've got like two shots of Crown Royal Peach here. I can. Uh, I need you to stand by for this uh, evening's podcast. That's my oh, retirement bottle. I can finish my retirement league. bottle listen, here. Listen, no Kings Fantasy Football League, the Crown Royal Peach Edition tonight. Crown <laughs> Royal okay. Peach. Oh, man. Crown Royal Peach Edition tonight. We can do it. Um, <clears throat> I want to see if Smoke's going to do his show first. Are you talking about during Sunday Night Football or you're Let's talking about? Smoke's going to do his show first, and then we'll go after that. How about that? Yeah. Because you told Smoke to do a show today, so we got to be there for that. Yeah. Who who told him to do it? You did. I, see, well, I, 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 I'm excited about the Browns today. The Browns and You told, him to, him, to do a show, Ted. You told him to do one tonight. You forgot already. <laughs> I did? He does, Joe, he he does the show at, at 7. I mean, he only does one seven seven thirty. but you told yeah. him to do a specific topic tonight. Oh, okay. Ted said, I did? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so Ted, what show are you doing that you're not aware of? I'm not doing it. Um Smoke is doing it. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. He's doing his show. Yeah. And, and what time and is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're I'm right. convinced people don't listen. They just talk. How do you forget? You're right. <laughs> yeah. you're right. And he blatantly <laughs> said it too. Like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to talk <laughs> about this. Yes, said, yes, I got yes, you. <laughs> Of dicey topics that I was like, mm, smoke, please. Just yeah, smoke likes to go two, three hours. So I'm going to ask him to keep it down to an hour and a half, and then we can jump on afterwards. <laughs> so, Tony, can I we do you. gratitude before I go? Oh, for God's sakes. Go for it, Mike. Gratitude, gratitude y'all. I am grateful for all the individuals that were in the comments today who contributed to 
Tony getting his award of receiving 100 messages with the restream chat. I'm always grateful to have Ted Hicks here with this ultimate wisdom and the two slap masters we've got right here, Mr. B and formerly known as Brian from Texas are here. Fireman Rich, my co-host most you days. Notice how he throws me last and I get no respect from him. Well, you know what? You're like family. We save the best for last. There you go. There we go. And Tony D, we would be how would we ever survive without, you know, your synergies, your community, all the things that you do for us. I I really mean that. Yeah. Like we, you keep it you're the glue. You keep us together. This would not be testing. <laughs> no, <yeah>. Testing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I, was that like one of these? I got this from all of y'all. <clears throat> you all got me spoiled and wanting to do this more than anything. This is why I want y'all up here when I broadcast in the first place. I do not do this by myself. I got this crap from Mike. Ted got me co-hosting, so I got hooked it on doing shows. Brian be right there when I have conversations. JoJo be doing this thing. We always backing each other up. Five Man Rich has been there, even though we barely were speaking. We were supporting each other. What the hell y'all expect? If people support you and they enthuse you, you keep it going, damn it. That's all it is, too. So I appreciate all of y'all for being here. Everybody who's been in the chat, people that's been coming in, swinging through, checking it out, requesting, follow me from other broadcasts, all that. This is nothing but me returning gratitude. I don't do this just for me anymore. I used to try to learn. I used to try to want it. Now I'm just sitting here trying to show everybody that you all helped me to get here and I want you here with me. I got to keep telling people that. I've been saying it for a year and a half, almost two years now. I want y'all up here with me. It ain't about just me. I may try to cover a topic. I may try to just do something here. But when I'm on your show, I want you down on my show too, damn it. We're doing this together. We are each other's numbers and we can bring our audiences with us so we can all show them that everybody can get along from all over the damn world. Get over yourselves. Let's do this. I'm putting it out there. Come and see me. <laughs> Alan, it must, Helen, it must be on yes. your side because I'm showing YouTube. My YouTube? Right I got YouTube. My YouTube is still flying, no problem. Just, Maybe just in Europe. Europe. Now, I do yes. know that um, Rich and Who, Mike... Who's going started, next? Actually, hold on. When we started, your Twitter, your Twitters were on and then they stopped on my end. So y'all check y'all's Twitters. Okay. I'll do that. So who's doing gratitude next? Uh, family, friends, and opportunity, as always, appreciate you. Who's next? Yeah, my YouTube's still going. Ted's YouTube is going. I think we should get Mr. B before he falls asleep. Mr. B, what are you grateful for? I'm not sleepy, man. <laughs> I'm good. Um, <laughs> I'm truly grateful, actually, for... If I got to say it, yeah, I'll mm -hmm. say it. For meeting you guys. Um... Me and you guys. Uh, well, I know Brian through the Periscope, but the majority of you guys, I met you guys through Haps, and grateful for this unity, man. This, this, this uh, togetherness, you know, even after the app is gone. Right. Continuing the motion, man, for real. Uh, getting myself more into it and trying to do my own thing as well. Um, managing to connect, share some laughs. Get on each other's nerves, um, <laughs> yeah. Just keep things, keep things in, in motion, man. Um, hopefully, you know, we can continue this, and yeah, everybody can continue their thing and continue to ride on, man. Um, and that's it, pretty much. So right now, uh, we are currently still on Twitter which is great. So that, that is rolling. I think Tony asked me that. And I love that heartfelt uh, comment there B before you had that nap. That was good. Thank you. Who, who's next? I'm grateful for gratitude that, yeah, we're, how we all managed to still stay connected, uh, even though with all the ups and downs of the, of the previous platforms that we were on, but at least, you know, we're still finding ways to stay connected. I am also gratitude because I am anticipating Ted's grilling skills on the blacktop. As he says, he bought ribeyes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ready to the, eyes looking. Yeah. Mm. That sounds good, bud. That sounds good. Have, have you recovered, uh, Ted, from uh, your vacation? Are you okay? Yes. 
Oh okay. no, I, I'm like I'm, if I'm feeling down, I just watch your video, <laughs> and then I, I I'm back, I'm normal again. I feel like I'm slightly high without it, uh, doing anything. It's wonderful. That's great. That's Thank great. You. Thank you. No, it's it's like I said, it's it's a great thing to be able to a year or two years after us meet most of us meeting on the platform um, to continue to have this whether we're all together or whether we're just supporting each other. I mean, it's, it's for me, I look forward to, you know, when I, when I get up in the morning and I, if it's a Monday, Wednesday or Friday, I turn on fireman rich in the morning because I'm like, Oh, okay. Because I know what to expect. Um, and, and what is that? Well, for, for me, it's mm -hmm. a, a good, clean, professional broadcast mm -hmm. with people coming in globally to his show, to watch his show, to comment on his show, and the, the fact that he does it the right way, where the people in the chat are actually a part of the show. Everyone always talks about that, mm. but very few people do it the right way. He does it the mm. right way. Um, Thank you, Chuck. That, that means a lot. Yeah, and, and, and just for the rest of us, to just to be able to um, get up here whether regardless of the night or day or whatever it is to to just support each other means a lot to me and the fact that you know it's it's a lot of people and i and i get it i know there were different factions and people went here and people went there and um i even wyoming and mm -hmm. wyoming and, and 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 the fact that we can sit here we could have a broadcast and support each other um, and, you know, just knowing that, hey, we can look forward to whatever this, wherever this journey takes us. Yeah. We don't know, you know, and, and it's like to a point where we don't, for the most part, don't watch numbers and don't watch this. It's just like, I'm jumping on regardless whether you got one person in the queue or not. And I know that's how most of you guys are. Yeah. And, and it's like, so I do appreciate, and I hate to say this, but I appreciate the brotherhood. Always. You know, I, and, and, and because we do have um, this sisterhood out here because we have other people, you know, um, Helen is always supportive of yes. Yes. each of us up here. Yes. Yeah. yes. So, it, and it's like, you know, like I said, near and far where even if I don't stay for a broadcast, I'll try to retweet it. Mm -hmm. I'll try to do Absolutely. something. And then, and I, I think it's the little things like that that that, that matter for, yeah. for all of us. Well, and it's like we had Frazier today. Right. And, and we had Randy. Yeah. And we had a yeah. whole bunch of people yeah. we don't know. Right. Which is great, which means that it's growing and expanding. Yeah. And, and we yeah. appreciate it. We're getting back out. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're on. Fireman Rich. We're saving the uh, best for last. There we go. Again. There we go. I am very grateful for everybody that's in this panel because I've known you for a long time. I, I consider you guys, uh, uh, your um, commentary and your, your broadcasts, uh, very dear to my heart. Um, I, I'm fully supported of all you guys. Uh, um, and this is a real treat coming up. This is a great broadcast because we have a great panel here, some great cross feeds and stuff like that. I'm thankful that right now new, uh, the the Giants are beating the Jets three to zero on a kick. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas Cowboys winning right now against Los Angeles. Uh, but we're talking about kickers, and I'm just seeing I'm seeing threes. Jags are up over the Pittsburgh on a kick. Atlanta over, and uh, the Giants. So we're talking about the kick. But anyway, this is a great opportunity. That I look forward. I look forward to this broadcast mm -hmm. here. And with all you here and the people sure. in the chat and stuff, the interaction we have, this is this is what it's all about. I appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, I, I really, really mean that in the bottom of my heart. So I, I'm very grateful for the misses, number one and foremost. I'm grateful for all you guys uh, for sharing uh, here during this broadcast. And uh, I look forward to more and more of this. And, and uh, this is fantastic. Thank you. Okay, we gonna wrap this up, uh, Tony. I'm waiting on y'all. 
I'm waiting on you, brother. No, you always got another question. Keep going. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. I gotta go. I gotta walk my dog. So you said that 30 minutes ago. That dog don't piss I don't want to be respectful. Dog. I don't want to leave I, 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 until you finish. You said you was gonna go when JoJo came. We gonna come back. I say a lot of things. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. The games are started. Um, gentlemen, all jokes aside, I appreciate all of you being here. Everybody who's been in the chat. I thank every last one of y'all for coming through. It's going to be Helen. Uh, Golf Hawk, you've been riding the whole broadcast. Appreciate it. Frazier was here. Uh, Gimlay or Jim Lay, forgive me for saying it wrong. Sadie, who else we got up in there? Ted was in there. He popped up. Uh, Rehab was in the house. This crazy ass. Gliss 7. Right. <laughs> um, oh, Randy, appreciate you coming man. through with the raid. I'm Puff Puff, Sharon C54. Swing trade, Twitch, driveway cam. Who else we had? Smoke. Smoke was in the house, definitely. You know, I ain't gonna yes. forget smoke. smoke. I know you said the link didn't work. I did try to send it to your Twitter too. What I'll try to do is um yes. send it to everybody's in, independent ones. Smoke, but, don't feel bad. Uh, if he doesn't watch you in the broadcast, he sends you a bonus that link. That ain't gonna have to stop bullshit. Okay. Um, everybody who's in the league, I always put the lead, the link in the league chat so all league members can be there. And then special oh, guests yeah. from outside, I do try to send it out there. You know, a bunch of y'all got to be sending it everywhere else because yes. you don't have it here, you don't have it there, and then it's my fault. I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, who else am I forgetting? We had Dylan Fink. Appreciate him coming through with his questions. Oh, uh, I don't want to forget anybody. How about Pepno Bismo? How about Pepno Bismo is is one of our uh, sponsors? Pepno Bismo has helped me through a whole yes. lot. I love for them yeah. to sponsor me because they'd be great. I love for Crown Royal to sponsor me. I would love for Wendy to sponsor me. Burger <laughs> King, McDonald's, Applebee's, Chili's, uh, Wild Wing Cafe, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Bowl Zaxby's, Fries, Zaxby's. But not McDonald's, McDonald's for you, brother. Oh, Imagine you have McDonald's. Cheesecake. I'll stand up for Cheesecake Factory. Not Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, yes, sir. I stand with Cheesecake Factory. I'll order what's their stock. I wish you had food. Oh, my God. That was all. Factory. I don't need your ass. You can take your ass, so I ain't got time for that. If you too good for Cheesecake Factory and you want Ruth Chris all the time, you better be worth it. Because some of y'all want the finer things in life and you ain't one of them. on your asses. You don't want to hear me tonight. And the state of Wyoming. We'll get another bar. And the state of Wyoming. You know what? You better be glad I ain't asked what race she was like Carmen did. <laughs> you know what I'm most happy about? We kept this to an hour. No, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I can't repost it. Appreciate that, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> but I am on, this is currently on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and LinkedIn. People were coming. I had somebody on, popped in on my LinkedIn. He told me what's up and he was watching the broadcast. Mike, I do thank you for letting me know that people's watching on your Twitter and they were commenting and they appreciated it. So I do thank you for that. Everybody up in here, all of y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been monumental. This has been excellent. You might want to watch the replay on this. This was pretty good. All jokes aside, this really was pretty good. This, yeah, this is what we envision for Belt Kings. Yes, it is. This is what this, we envision. This is one aspect of what we all y'all. All y'all, double positive, double contraction. All y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. We got slang over here. Yeah, <laughs> we got slang over here. I'm y'all come back now. Stuff. I'm gonna try to be back for the four o'clock game. Actually, I'm trying to get done before the four o'clock game starts. So, thank you all again. We'll probably see you all tonight. Like I said, we're gonna see everybody's feeling later on the day. Gentlemen, take care of yourselves, everybody. Rosters, I hope y'all are good, and we'll catch y'all later on. All right. Peace, everybody.